minus one minute. T minus fifty seconds. T minus forty seconds. Minus thirty seconds. T minus twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Hey folks, what is up? Welcome back, welcome back. Oh, let adjust this damn thing. Make sure y'all can hear me. Welcome back. Okay. We are we are gonna get into it tonight. Um man, this this video that Shani did, I really need to say something about it because you know me knowing stuff i i got my own two cents to speak about it because i was there during uh these times that rev and shanny are uh referring to and uh there's just a couple of things you know just a couple of context i want to share with this video and i know that some people have done this video because it's just so hilarious i mean rev has and Shani have been releasing a lot of hilarious stuff. But I want to, you know, I think context is very important. So we'll show the video. I'll add the context. And then uh, I have a Cyrex video to watch. Uh, but thank you all for hanging out. Please, you know what to do. Hit that like. I'm trying to get a lot, uh, 100 likes per video. If you can, that'd be great. Make sure you're subbed. And if you're so inclined to donate, there is links in the... Uh, thing called the description below where you can get cash at paypal and all that but without further ado let's let's get into this what do you guys think all right here we go but hi everybody vaughn beardo and, and mousy and captain spaulding and uh always oh, tired what is up crimson and eileen all right let's uh let's get started so yeah rev made this video I guess on the 5th and like I said I have some context to uh, go along with this video so let's let's just get right in Cat Williams said <clears throat> that all lies will be exposed that's what he said. The light's going to come in and it's going to expose all the lies and everybody's going to know the truth and, and whatever the consequences of it will be, uh, let the heavens fall. So Shani just really uh, laid something on me. Herself. That <laughs> is like, wow, you know what? I remember seeing the spelling of that word and thinking, I've That's seen that word bitch. before. But then I just thought, okay, so we know drag. This is going to drag knot. This stuff with Diddy, the sex trafficking, this stuff, dude. So you used to call yourself drag knot Silvis. <clears throat> That's the and you know before we get into it, you can tell that Rev is he ain't sober, and uh, it doesn't. To me, it don't seem like no Delta 8, so we'll just say that. So just, you know, keep that in the back of your mind. But I hope everyone's got their favorite drink and favorite snack to snack on, because this, this one's going to be a good one. Like I said, they're, they're, they're definitely, you know, flying close to the sun. Now, you would think to yourself, oh, this person that they're talking about already changed his channel name, right? Doesn't really have nothing to do with them anymore. When they, he had a, a different channel name, why didn't they ever say anything then? You know, it's like, like I, I feel like with Shani, she complained about so many people, but the fact that she'll just go back 
and revisit old stuff to try to make drama like everyone used to say she did you know here's the proof right here because if someone's leaving you alone why are you even bringing up old shit but here i will continue the name you had at first then you started doing this weirdness where i guess fuck a fan friday you are literally fucking people that watch you hooking up with them i don't know when you started that but whenever that time was you're around that time your name changed and you started calling yourself drag not you said the bully uh-huh drag not the bully but mm -hmm. it was but you did not spell bully you hear that? You hear how he has to yell over her? He is all like, I know I'm mom. I, I can talk. I know what to say. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, let's just see how this works out for them. B-U-L-L-Y. Mm -hmm. You spelled bully. B-O-U-L-E-E. -E. Did Look he? Look that word up. I will. I, I will, Rev. You know what? Rev is right. Uh time you know we should look at uh, that word up okay no problem no problem oh wait a minute i don't know if you guys can see that here i'll put it into the uh, the uh, the big screen uh it says drag not the b o l no sorry b o o l e e you all see that right i mean maybe i'm nuts me i'm not wearing my glasses <laughs> you see that right I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, lay facts uh, where they may. And this was the um, spelling. Last update, September 25th, 2022. Because besides Social Blade, which I don't use, uh, folks, Social Blade is horrible about keeping people's actual information. There's better ones like this one called, what is this, Spark? I don't know, Spark or J. There, there, there's, a, there's other ones. But you can find old account names. I didn't just make this, you know? So, this is his actual one before he changed it. So, let's get back to Ha Ha. So, just to clear that up. Anybody that doesn't know what that word is, I want you to look it up. Oh, I just did. The Boule... <laughs> are the black masons that really? are into mostly homosexual stuff that's the way it's gone in that i don't know why but their rituals is demonizing women yeah and harassing them and sexually abusing them hmm. you know yeah all the stuff that goes with that really that's that that's that's horrible i mean again i don't know where these people get their information from um let's see anybody actually watch dragnaut uh when he was doing the dragnaut stuff besides yours truly here i'm sure there's other ones and again um the reason i ask is because if any of you would know this man has always um said at least to me that he was an atheist well let's just look up if an atheist is even allowed to join freemasonry you know just to you know just to just to uh you know fix that make sure to get that bull crap out of the way well wow look at that atheists are not allowed aren't allowed one of the main restrictions on joining freemasonry is the requirement that members believe in a supreme being or a higher power such as the devil <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm> kidding. <laughs> Atheists are not allowed to become members of the fraternity. So, again, are they just talking out of Shani's uh, big ass? Probably. That's a huge bitch. Yes, it is. All right, Rev. Uh, let's get back to what the dumb shit you're saying. That's ritual magic. Uh, Guess yeah. who they did that to? Well, drag specifically, me. Yeah. Really? So I want him to know that we know. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know shit. Uh, what Shani's referring to there, folks, is Drag and his brother and I think a friend. I mean, they'll quote me on it, but I'm pretty close. Reviewed their disgusting OnlyFans so no one would have to because it wasn't like anything they would want to, you know, see. I mean, granted, I know 
you know, and I'm not, I'm not yucking on anyone's yum. Some people like the, you know, the big gals, and that's fine. But no one liked that. That was disgusting. I think they like big gals when they can, you know, uh, be clean <laughs> and not have a grave of JJ and uh, warts on them and uh, washing properly. Stuff like that. He did a, th- a review. He laughed at it. It was gross. Rev said something about, I did someone say squirt. It was a whole thing. It's nasty. I don't recommend it. It used to be on Twitter. I unfortunately had to see clips. It is gross. So that's what she means when she says that drag or anybody he knew uh, did something uh, sexual to her by reviewing and not showing. It's not like he made a kick or a uh, OnlyFans for himself and showed that stuff, which he probably would be allowed to do. He watched it on stream and you just saw his face reactions and his disgust through there. It, it was hilarious. It was some great A YouTube, believe me. I loved it. But anyway, that's as far as it went. But I see how they like to push narratives so you feel bad for them. Why, folks? Because in the end, it's all about feel bad for her, my mentals, my fibro, my I need money, and look at this riffraff. He won't even get a job. Yes. Hi, Stacy. Hi, guys. We know that you are a boule, which means all the people surround you are probably Freemasons. Yeah, he's a black (laughs) mason. Because so and 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 here's the thing. You're you're racist. Okay, Rev. First of all, you're racist. Second of all, it seems like a lot of the people, not everybody, you know. I mean, like I'm a Gnostic Catholic, but um. And there was other people that were Christian. There was other people that were pagans. And there was a lot of mixed religion. So for them to say, oh, you just surround yourselves with Freemasons, that's just not true. Now, I'm not saying there wasn't any, but, uh, you know, and that's not really a thing you like to throw out there, you know. Number one and number two, like I just said and proved you have to not be an atheist and believe in something. So really, I'm just ruining their argument so fast, so easy. The thing, I really don't care if you're Freemasons. No. Because I'll I'll continue to speak out against you. For- Everyone's losing their mind. Seven deadly chins. <laughs> Seven deadly chins. I yo, dude. I'm telling you. I'm yo. It's 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 the it's the it's the moon, man. It's the moon. Yo, you you all know the moon's been like making everyone nuts. <laughs> That's how I feel when I'm thinking about this damn moon. It's like for real. It's, it's like it's making people crazy. But I hear you. I hear you. All right, back to Rev smoking. For the rest of my life, you know what I know. You've been watching me for years. Expose. And you found Jason here, and he also exposed. That's why you wanted us to break up for so long. Because two of us, with the knowledge that we have about you guys, you'd have no power. Yeah. Because we, unlike you, actually believe in Jesus Christ, and God has our back. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. God don't have your back. I, but I do want Dragnot to know that we know. You caught me off guard with that one, Drag, because I wasn't really thinking of the stuff I've learned over the years. We know now. We know. And again, is this for donos? Is this for... You know, what is this for? Feel bad for me for the new people? Oh, is this to mess with people? Like a a troll, an op? Or are they really this mentally ill? Like really, my brain goes in all sorts of directions. I usually used to think it was just all for that money. Because this is just nuts. And at this point, there's been people that have been around. Like me, like Therese, like other people that have was there and know that that's not the case. Two, the, there's 
people that have shown up in the past year, year and a half, uh, before channels got changed around that saw that that was not um, the case. But with Rev and Shani, I feel like half the fun trolling them was always like making them think some crazy shit. Like, cause they're, they are so damn gullible. But again, is that, you could say, is that a troll or is that them trying just to get money over on people? I mean, I feel like they would believe anything you tell them because they don't do research. But then at the same time, if there's 20 bucks in it, oh yeah, they will say and do anything. We know why you did your hit job on us because we're, we're specifically hit what job. you for <laughs> as a, as a Mason dude. The Masonic hit job. Masonic hit took job. Us out. <laughs> Your little buddy used to go in around people's rooms, JD Kane, and saying, Why are you talking about 9 11 anyway? Really? Here's the thing. Why are you talking about 9 11? When we were talking about 9 11, we weren't on air. <laughs> That's real wild. Oh, screw you. What we got here? A dude from that was living in, in the middle of PA, and a woman in what Minnesota at the time. I mean, again, I I don't even want to talk with about that stuff because I don't like to go too far into it. But in my opinion, if you lived close to that area and know people like these people who didn't live close to it or had family or friends that may have been hurt or affected, they should keep their comments to, them, to themselves. That's how I always feel about anything. Like, you know, I'm not going to bring up the Chicago fires or any type of earthquakes that happened in California, you know, and especially if, if those were years that I wasn't there. You know, I just feel like they shouldn't have any comment about it other than that kind of sucks. But let's move along, you know. Military intelligence. I believe also G-Man was in that room. Probably. I think he's also part of them as well. He's also a boule. <laughs> G-Man. might be. That's why he's going against the black Hebrew Israelites. Because they are anti boules He's never said that. I mean... <laughs> WrestleMania weekend. Yeah, enjoy... You dig? Enjoy, Mackie. You know what's funny? When I was trying to look it up to try to find to make sure that... You know, like... I, I knew that that wasn't how he spelled his name. So did a lot of people. Uh, what came up was G-Man's videos about uh, drag, just you know, having a rebuttal video. But even even G-Man with his issues knew how to spell drag's name. So that means G-Man's got a few working more brain cells <laughs> than they do. Well, you know, of course, because he was able to sell that house while they get to live like this. Yeah, that neck. <laughs> I get it, but we know now. You didn't so, get what you wanted out of me, though. No. You want you wanted the sex traffic, both of us. Ew. Because that's what you're into. The bullshit? And this Diddy shit, it's, <laughs> he's the top of it. Diddy is like the ringleader. That's why y'all were grabbing each other in New York City. You yeah. Were, you it were, a, it's a sex. It, you, you were all having an orgy, weren't you, stupid motherfuckers? No, I, I love this. I love... Shani goes to... Uh, um, uh, guys, uh, I was, I was, I was abused, and, uh, this happened, and these people try to abuse me, then, okay, you were guys were having sex, yeah, you were all grabbing, yeah, uh, grabbing ball sacks, right? <laughs> yeah, you <get> ghost motherfuckers. <laughs> like, go on, I'm telling you, to me, I don't know about my fibro, I feel like her thing, besides obesity, is she's bipolar because she's extremely up and extremely down and you know what people i've met met like this and you know what i hate when she does that little baby voice like i don't know something about big women doing the baby voice just really creeps me out it's like please don't don't do that you know and stop acting like one mind you this woman can't see your kids because uh that riffraff there yeah he got all handsy with the uh, with the sun <laughs> That and Shani just, you know, let him get away with it. Well, he did his time. He did his 13 days. No anger management classes. No special counseling. Just, oh, you did 13 days in jail. That's because she didn't feel like bailing him out. She wanted to keep the uh, bailout money. 
it was absolutely a sex uh, cult. It was it, they were yeah. trying to bring people in. Yeah, to their little sex cult. Yeah, industry. that's that's why shit human traffic and shit. That's why Fiona was grabbing ass and stuff. It was yeah. They, they're they're part of like. Well, exactly. On Dead Ramen, on Dead Ramen says, "How can they traffic some bitch that can't even be lifted without us all the time?" <laughs> yo, side the house in a crane. Yo, yo, my God, on Dead Ramen. I, I said this already, and guys, please write down because I'm nuts. I feel nuts about this. Okay, for whatever reason, I mean, and uh, you know, Mrs. Draven, we're talking about what's eating Cobra Cray. And we were thinking about it, and we were just talking about. It. I never saw the movie, but I know beat like B for beat uh, plot points. And one was like, "Oh yeah, something about uh, Gilbert's mom having to get cr a crane and open up the side of the house, right?" And then she's like, "But how did that happen it, when they lit the house on fire and let her?" just you know die around the the burn flames but then again they were they were pulling their stuff out of the house so i'm like that's weird yeah i could i i, I could so remember them taking her fat ass on a crane and and cutting a hole in the house and i'm like is was there another movie that did that so you guys just let me know in the comments am i nuts or was there did that happen in the movie or was it another movie but back to this a sex cult. She's Scottish. The Scottish right. Yeah, and then no. you had, and then no, you, no, that sounds like the Scottish wrong. <laughs> you got Aaron Ra. You know that guy. He's part of the Satanic Temple. He got into the Satanic Temple exactly, which is what it's. There's it's sex parties. Mainly the Church of Satan is sex parties. More human trafficking. Yeah, that would be my again minors probably. Yeah, until okay. that. that that's true. But we know, Drag, and you were trying to organize something to get us involved with that shit, either by webcam or in person. That's, there's no doubt. So we know now we... Okay, Grizz, uh, then I know they were talking about it with the police. Um, like I said, it was just something that was bothering me. I'm like, is this one of those, like, Mandela effects or something? I don't know. But it was just something that I was just thinking about. Um, but thank you for saying. It's just... Because I, they, the police said that they would have to, uh, or someone said you would have to get a crane to get her out. Because she was a big woman, and if you remember the movie, the uh, John C. Riley came, uh, Johnny Depp's friend, because the floor was going to cave in. Because she kept on jumping on it. Because she was pissed off at uh, at uh, Leo DiCaprio's character. But anyway, let me just get back to this. But it just made me think about it. Because Shani's so damn big. We, we see your darkness. We but see. we also know that the feds and the CIA are having this infight, the lightness and the dark part yeah, of them. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, the light is going to extinguish all of you who are part of what I guess we could call yeah. the Illuminati or the Freemasons or what's another term they like you, the order. <laughs> the yeah, satanic temple have sex during weddings. That's right. Yeah, that's just their deal, and I, I'm not even against that stuff. That's that, that's their own religion. If they want to have do all that crazy stuff, but when you're talking kids, you're talking girls, boys un, against their will. That's not okay. That's yeah, it's not okay, and I think that's why the feds are stepping in. You know, it, it's like it's like hitting a kid. You know, when he's autistic and kicking him in the ribs. That's not okay, Rev. Ha! That's just not okay. And then when you uh, get out of jail and you start making live streams in your that crappy car you had in the driveway, right next to the car, right, right next to the house, scaring the crap out of those kids, not knowing when you're gonna just walk inside and like take a piss or I don't know, maybe shower, but pee would probably be the first thing, and or grab your peanut butter bowl. You know, it's just not okay. Darkness comes in the light. Yeah, and I, I suggest happening. to people to start looking into this stuff about <laughs> Dragna and uh, report in anything you see that is alluding to uh, sex trafficking. Well, he.
Damn. And once again, folks. Once again. This was his name. You know, just, you know, I. this was his name. If you still look at his, at his channel today, it's still at Gasoline Dreams. I don't know what that means, but that's still his at. This was his name uh, before it was, uh, you know, Drag Not Silvus or whatever. But this was it for at least until September 25th, 2022. Like I said, I, I just want to, you know, be, you know, make give context and say that he is getting, well, it's probably Shanny. She's getting the the spelling wrong. Uh, I believe Rev is just a victim of his ha ha. Guys, don't forget to like. Smart, I think, and that's yeah. why he took every every. He just start restarted. And he's rebranding. And man, he might maybe he works for the feds now. Yeah, Beyonce the point is, is rebranding too right now. Yeah, we knew, we know, we get it. You at that time, that's exactly what you were doing. You were part of this sex trafficking ring that Diddy is the head of. You were definitely one of those little bitty nodes. That's why you kept going to California. Yeah, I didn't know that. God, he I didn't reach know it, what was going to New York <laughs> and California. I did not know those that. Those are big human trafficking places. Yeah. Well, that's it. But you never got me. No. Because I serve Jesus Christ. That's why you had to do this thing with the Christians and tell it all of the Christians hey. that I'm a witch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Diddy's real bad. <laughs> no, I'm not a witch. I'm a high priestess to Jesus Christ. It's on. Okay, okay, okay. Be before we go even further with that, the reason why uh, the whole witch came, thing came on is because, and I wasn't there. But a lot of people told me that, that we used to be in the Google Plus days, great debate community. Shani was not a Christian. She didn't start becoming a Christian until Moneybags here lost his mom. And he came online all upset about it. And then Shani was all over him. At that point, she already knew where he lived. Even Shani's mom said it in my, in my stream when I did a stream. It was between him, Riff Raff, and uh, YMCA, <laughs> uh, you know, um, G Man. And G Man, she, even Shane's mom said he was too smart for her, so she picked him. Drove Christmas Eve to his house after he told her, I'm messed up, I'm drinking, and I'm probably not going to stop, and it's going to be hard for me to stop because I just can't. So he already told her, and she showed up anyway. That's why, my in my opinion, it's always been Shane. Who allowed this abuse to happen because he I saw the video I played the video it's on my channel he told her flat out don't come to my house I have a problem I have an addiction and marijuana is just not going to be enough to cross addict on my forehead even yeah she she flipped the script on you guys she she might <sighs> she's huh. She uh -huh. didn't take your shit. She didn't want that. No, you tried to get me in sex trafficking when I was 13 with John Casablanca's. Who? I've been treated like shit most of my life and wondering why am I treated like shit? Because I am that target. I am one of those CIA controlled people and I really don't give a fuck anymore. You know why? I don't have much to live. Okay, I do not have much time left in this earth. And I'm happy about that. So am uh, I. I'm happy maybe. about that because <laughs> no, I can I'm go kidding. home to Jesus Christ. He don't want you. No, but to figure out my life and know that it was surrounded by evil, horrible people who just purpose was to put me down so they could try to control me. That's why my whole life I kept hearing this, control Shannon, control Shannon, control Shannon. No one ever did that. No, I'm done. I got it. Oh, this is the part, yeah, right? <laughs> Thank you, Eileen, you're right. Uh, this is the part where they don't show themselves on camera, but that's okay, guys. I have a stand-in. Sorry. One second. I'm kind of fiery over that stuff. 
<laughs> Here you go. Well, <clears throat> you know now that we know. Ha ha. But see, the, the white part of the Masons, they tap Jason. That's <laughs> Trump's side of the Illuminati. That's yeah. Trump's side of the order. See, there's the black Democratic side. Oh, my God. Yo, Shani, can I have some of them pills that you're taking? Because you were just talking some crazy stuff. Like, for real. The weed you're on, please. Can I try some of that? Is that diamond infused? <laughs> Guys, remember, uh, uh, don't vape. Vape, uh, you know, unless it's dry herb vape, uh, v oil vape is just not good. People are getting popcorn lung, and I, of course, I am not a doctor, <laughs> and never claim to be one. And but I'm saying there has been a lot of people who've gotten sick with popcorn lung. So please do at your own, um, you know, at your own discreet, uh, whatever I call it. You know, you wouldn't want to do, uh, dip, right? So you wouldn't want to do that either. But anyway, so now she's going to claim that it's about white, uh, white uh, Freemasons. Now, you got to hear Rev's voice, his dictation the next, the, in this next part because he does not believe her. But you'll hear for the way when, he's, when he can't really make a, um, a sentence, that's him not agreeing with the statement. Side mm -hmm. of the order. And then there's the Republican white side. Well... Well, of the order, uh -huh. which is Trump. There's Trump, and then there's the business. Well, it's the game. Trump is an anti messiah. Like, <laughs> both of you are having a fight amongst each other, trying to gain whatever power you have left. But the people are waking up, most importantly. Every oh, day, sure. the people are waking up. I woke up. I realized what I, my purpose was to the world, and I, I, I failed that purpose. Thank Jesus, I failed that purpose. I never became anything that you guys wanted me to be, and I thank God for that, because it was his way of protecting me from very dark people. Yeah. Very evil, dark people. He doesn't believe a word she I says. I was wondering, why am I keep getting surrounded by sex workers? <laughs> now I know why. Well, yeah, what is she talking when about? When I was homeless, I, I I was almost lured in by that crap. There you go. Ah, oh, yeah. Talk to a pimp and everything. <laughs> he was very sweet on me. I bet he wasn't. But I never succumbed to the darkness. Ever. Because Jesus had my back. Yeah, he did. I'm with you. You're on the Trump side of it. I was on the other side. I mean, you you went to a party at 16. That's all we need to say. So, Whoa, what does that mean? You meant to be something tonight. I was ritualistically raped at 16. Yeah, you... Man! Yo... I mean, I guess, Rev, this is what he has to do to kind of agree with her these days. But don't get it twisted. This guy does not, you know. Rev just knows we'll get him out of, you know, her getting slappy. We were supposed to be so. That was your initiation. Mm -hmm. And you rejected them. Mm -hmm. You did not want any mm -hmm. part of them. So they are going to make you pay. You were supposed to be a part of them. Yep. I think probably generationally. Yeah, that's better. Because this way I can pause it and, you know. Fully. <laughs> Because that's usually how this shit works. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be the head of a really big, like, like the mother goddess level of a coven, it's generational. That's a huge bit. Well, I didn't do that. No, because you rejected their insane, disgusting depravity that they get into. You weren't into that. No. Because yeah, I love it when these two fight. <laughs> Christ always was in your heart. That's right. My sister Zora's strip club was. She was at college, and a guy followed her home, saying she left left something there okay well there's lots of creepy guys that's for sure that's how easy it is to be trafficked oh i see what you mean oh, God. exactly yeah exactly and you know again uh folks don't get me wrong i i know people get trafficked every day i'm not i'm not poo-pooing on that <laughs> i'm poo-pooing on 
Shani specifically being trafficked because like Undead Ram and, and other people have said in this stream very stream tonight, who has a forklift ready to traffic Shani? I mean, well, we have a picture of her when she was younger, and I'll I'll go look for it while I'm uh, you know, uh playing this. But like seriously, she's been heavy for a while, probably since she's had her children. Very I'm useless. Trust no one in this world. And it, talk to no one really. Yeah, and all these girls were victims because they you can't tell me that a lot of people out there are gonna be offered this opportunity to be given gifts in excess of a hundred thousand dollars a piece. Like I mean Diddy could just drop a hundred K on you like nothing because he's got a billion dollars, okay? These girls want you got to survive. Yeah. If somebody's willing to drop a hundred grand on you, you're gonna do some freaky shit, and that's <laughs> just they were abused to shit. And yeah, because you guys know that uh, Rev said for a hundred bucks he was gonna take a, uh, and if you don't, yeah, Rev said for a hundred bucks he was gonna take a cucumber and shove it up his. Uh, <laughs> so in case you didn't know that, <laughs> now you do, and knowing's half the battle. It's disgusting. It definitely is. They were promised fame and fortune, and all they got was abused. I don't feel like being on camera right now. That's why we're in the dark. Just you don't watch. Plus, we're talking about dark stuff. Dark stuff, and and I don't care about the consequences of whatever happens to me happens to me. God's will. Guys. But if anything did happen... You'll know why it happened. It does. Did you see that? This is Shani and in high school. Yeah. In case you didn't know, this is I would Shani. I thought that the, the guy that we dealt with drag not smart enough that you if this that? came around and he was involved with it, he'd turn and he'd start singing. Shani, Shani. Oh, I know. All I want to know is where's the warts, Shani? Where's the warts? <laughs> well, at least now we know that warts don't last forever. I mean, at, at most, I see a little blemish here and stuff, but you could tell that that's Shani. Look at those. Look at those. 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 Those dead eyes, right? Look at those dead eyes. <laughs> and, you know, you can tell she got no soul. Excellent. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, look at that. You know, she's probably like, hey, photographer, what are you doing after you take everyone's picture? <laughs> Allegedly. I mean, I, I wonder if this was a school that she said that her, her principal, you know, her, uh, you know, I don't know. But still, like, this looks like Shani was right before she got her growth spurt. I don't know. I, again, if I was to guess... Knowing that this happens to a lot of people, she probably had the two children and blew up like a balloon. That's a huge bitch. Because that's usually what happens. And like a canary to the government. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. That's that why he took that turn. That might be smart that you start sinning drab. He <laughs> already has. That's why he took down his shit and he's moved on from to other shit. Yeah, yeah, you don't want you don't want to spend years in jail, do you? No. Nah, because you know, you know, just because Trump flipped the Bible doesn't mean that the world is going to continue to be upside down. Uh, no. I'm not sure, Shaz. I don't know an age. Okay. Sorry. Trump's just a deceiver. And, and the light will always suppress the dark. Yeah, that's why he's being decimated in court, Trump. That's why. He, might, he has a certain level of protection still, for mm. sure. They keep giving him what he wants in trials. You can see in a the lot evil. Of cases, but What's up, Lamar? Yeah, exactly. It, the, it's coming down. The white hats are going to win. The what? And these guys are going to be gone because they have done egregious acts against mankind. And again, again, doing what she, what he did to Shani's kid, hitting him, kicking him in the ribs. That's not an egregious thing. What Shani did to him. And the, again, and this is also messed up. She beat she beat the crap out of this guy for a Baja blast. She made his balls look like yo-yos when she thought that he was cheating on her with 
horse from Facebook and she was meeting them. He was meeting them at the park down the street. He came home, shaved his head. She put all this stuff on him, put the scarlet A for that. Now you're asking me, Draven. Well, if she did that before, not even uh, just pretending to be meeting women, even though he claims that 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 was a setup and um, beating him up for a Baja blast. Well, Draven, I'm sure you have a picture for what he did to her son to make the cops called and have those kids finally free from them. And sad, I'm sad to report, guys. I don't. This now, if this is what happened after she kicked her son in the ribs and hit him in the face after this bitch threw a bag of Tostitos uh, chips at his head, yeah, I'd be like, here you go. But Rev deserved it. Shani, it's on her for letting this monster around her kids. Like I said, she drove them there Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, nowhere to go. It, she was the mom. It's all on her. These are not his biological kids. This is what should have happened after he laid hands on Zach. For real. I'm sorry, you know, on on, on her children. Because, uh, you know, it wasn't just the one. No, definitely not. I've read the police report, shown the police report a thousand times. You can get that. It's public record. But uh, this is what should have happened, in my opinion. Doing this because... Uh, because he thought that she was meet that he was meeting up with with hookers in the park, and then that ended up being false. That never was going to happen. He claims he was being catfish, and you know what? He probably was. But her doing that over shut over what humiliating him online and taking away any type of balls he had is messed up. That night, the police showed up at the house. Again, I have also this <laughs> stream on my channel. If you've never seen it. He had to answer the door like that in front of the police. The police gave him literature to read about abuse uh, domestic victims. And he thought it was for her. Crazy, right? They're just... Look, the stuff that they're telling you in media, you're not going to get the full details of what happened to people. Okay? Benjamin in Yahoo, he's, his people want him gone. Mm -hmm. Israel is sick of him. Mm -hmm. Putin, the Russian people want him gone. Yeah, they're sick of this shit. They are. They're sick of this corruption in this world. Yep. Yeah. Just like Americans, they don't even know who to choose for president because we got Biden and then we got Trump. Both are not sufficient to take care of this country. Let's just be honest. Yeah, Lynn, when we say drag, do you know Dragnot from YouTube? Dragnot? Do you know him? That's who we're talking about. The purge is coming this summer. Biden's America. I hope not. Bring it. I'm not afraid. That's extremely dark shit. But I, I'll, I would dedicate myself to defending innocence. If I saw innocence being violated, I'd fucking kill for it to protect it. So that's what I'll do. I die. They're just doing me a favor. I'm going home. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Simple as that. Moochin. This crazy shit and it's dark. I it's. Uh, I think the time for that is now, though, and and and, and there are. I think they are going to pull something evil. I don't know what it is exactly. Well, see, they're purposely using this P Diddy case to distract us from what's going on in Israel. Oh. Right oh. Now. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad the spring is coming along because hopefully, uh, Rev's uncle comes to his senses and kicks them out. I mean, I've already heard he tried to put the place up for sale, but immediately took it down. Whether that was to put a fire under Rev's butt to be like, hey, you need to look for some other place to live. I mean, remember guys, if you don't know, because a lot of people, I know you guys have lives, don't know much, much, much about the Shani and Rev lore. Rev had that house and G-Man's and he gave it to them for like a dollar. Basically, he couldn't afford the taxes and he couldn't keep up with uh, all the maintenance work at the house that G-Man ultimately sold. They were going to tear it down because if a house is just, you know, holes in the roof, they're not going to like allow that to happen. They're going to find the crap out of you. But um, there was no reason for him to do that. He could have fixed the house himself. If I was him, I never would have went to, uh, to Colorado. 
I would have waited, got my medical card in PA, got all the pot I wanted, and fixed the house. See, and I would have had a whole lot of money left. Yo, think about this, everybody. All that money he spent on um, cryptocurrency, if he would have had it right now, he'd be sitting pretty good. But again, this guy's an idiot. You can't trust him with stocks or bonds, just like Shani. That's why he lost it all. But if he would have kept it, like, because actually, I uh, I bought Ethereum and I just left it alone when it dipped, and now I'm sitting pretty good. Where <laughs> I made I made some money. So there is ways to, you know, again, not getting off financial advice. Whenever, I would never do that, YouTube. But uh, I'm just saying there is ways to play the system. And I think if you sell too quick, like Rev, you know, but Rev's always quick with, you know, uh, climaxing before it's time. <laughs> now Iran is threatening Israel. Ouija lady says Christ is my Lord too. Praise God. Amen. That's all you need. All right. You're good to go. You'll be okay. Anybody with Jesus is going to be fine. You might die, maybe even painfully, but you'll be okay. <laughs> Anyway, to drag not, we know, we get it, you know, nothing. we see it. And Shanna, that was the Holy Spirit that did that to you. Yeah, you, you just needed that little tickle from. Oh yeah, we got to recommend that video for people to watch. What's his name? Jonathan Audie. You need to look at the interrogation of Jonathan Audie. Yeah. Uh, it I, really, it was done five years ago, but it really hits home to what's happening right no now in the world. Sucking on our fat. That's how you spell it. <laughs> that's the guy. That's the guy is named Jonathan Oddie. At look up his it, interior. It's O D D I. O D D. I thought it was T's. No, oh, it's O D D I. Oh, okay. I'm wrong. Is okay. I do this oh, correction. <laughs> I thought I got that right. Yeah, look in the interrogation in him and see what he says. It's very interesting. That's the last name. And they, he's gone. Like, they either killed the guy quietly or he's in protection because then nobody knows where he is. Mm -mm. Look up that guy. And you got it. A lot of the stuff he's talking about is like conspiracy theory stuff. But but I will say to any of the FBI or CIA that is listening to this, I sure you have a file <laughs> on me. Why? Um, yeah, me too. No, if you... Rev, the only reason why... Why they have a file on you is because you went to your friend ha uh, called the police on you and you went to jail because you talked about having uh pew pews and you wanted to storm the uh um government buildings. That's why because you made threats, you dummy. Shanny, no, she's just full of it. But you, Rev, yeah, I believe they have some sort of a file on you 100%, especially when they had a code uh. You know, uh, kick your door down, seize all your weapons. And this was back a long time ago. No, I will work with you. Mm -hmm. For I, anything. Yeah, I would too. If you're white hat CIA and you want to you wanna take down these disgusting freaks, <laughs> I'm with hat you CIA. completely. Why are you hiding from the camera? I don't want to. I, I, we were going to go off and I'm just done. I like, I just want the guy to know that we... We know what the boule means. Shani really uh, heard that word and then put thought about you, and it's like, yeah, you were telling us the whole time what you're in. You're you're a sex trafficker. Are you okay, okay, okay. Rev, rev, rev. Hold on. I need a reference so I know who I'm talking to. Rev, when you see this later, because I know you watch me, you are stupid. Okay, and I hope you made like no money doing that. You need to do research, bro. Because this, 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 uh, you know, what's eating Gilbert Grape right next to you? That's a huge bitch. Is stupid. She's stupid, not because I'm bullying, because she doesn't look up anything. And that's terrible, okay? It's like the bad phone game. She tells you something and then you run with it. And then people laugh at you, okay? They're all gonna laugh at you. Well, guess what? I'm gonna teach you why they're all gonna laugh at you. 
because you were wrong. You were wrong for trusting her, and she was wrong. Okay, so this Jonathan Adi uh, is like a TikToker and talks about the Diddy case and everything. And you know what? Everyone knows Diddy. There was something wrong with that. You ever see any old videos? It's, uh, you know, we all knew. Uh, just a lot of people don't know the extent. But that doesn't have anything to do with black Freemasons or boulets or anything. And like I've shown throughout this whole damn uh, video that you guys are... Hold on. Are wrong. This was the guy's name for the last time. You know? So when you see that this was the name not made today in 2022 that you're mistaken and that you cannot be an atheist which he has claimed he is i mean that's his life his decision but i'm just trying to point out you need to believe in something anything and it can be the uh <laughs> you know just have a belief system okay so you're getting some wrong things here and then you're bringing it to he was uh sex trafficking people because he did a skit on friday he did many skits and that's why they're called skits rev because you're not really i mean i feel like i'm talking to nobody here about this but like for real like I, i'm explaining it the best i can but let's let's finish up with this one and then the next video and then the next video you were and then you turned i hope ha, that's ha, true that's why you kept going in strip bars well he was doing this segment on the show. yeah right fuck <laughs> a fan friday am i right yeah seriously sir he was in it but maybe got out of it so if there's any women that need to speak out over this issue yeah please let us know yeah i, I won't be a lady you want to talk to a woman about it shani will do it you know why does he have uh, because uh, my knowledge on 9/11? We talked about we oh, talked publicly both a lot about 9/11, and if you type now when we talk about that, <laughs> we were talking about it from a truther end. So it's they're gonna not like us. It's not that it they're just watching to make sure that we're not. I don't like that word. Terrorists. It's truth not anything end. personal. No, we're not though. No. We d I don't. No, I'm a I, pacifist. I, I believe in peace. I love the United States. I love my country, mm -hmm. and I swore an oath to protect the Constitution of the United States. Yeah, I'm a patriot. On I'm... foreign enemies and domesticated, so I'm willing <laughs> to protect my country if need be. So you, you, I, if you got out of it, uh, Al, you know, Fred. People call you Fred, right? You said I got it, Al, wrong. Okay. People call you Fred. I'm glad you got out of it because it looks that way to me. That's why you took all your shit down and started anew. So, but we know that that, that you were definitely into that and you were trying to pull us in. We get it. Jesus is Lord Maranatha. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> My God, that was good. That one I couldn't pass up. See, when they do good ones... Um, I I will definitely definitely uh, follow that up because that was just again. Do they believe that? Do they not believe that? All right, let's. Um, oh well, there's a more boule rage delusion. I guess I'll watch that one. That sounds fun. And then I'll go into some Cyrax. Um, but yeah, there's a couple other ones that maybe uh, later this week I will. Um, go into maybe it'll be earlier like i said i'm trying to change around the times i stream just to you know uh change it up um uh, okay i mean i hope this ain't the one where rev's talking about you know what he's doing with shanny which is totally disgusting glass is that is that yeah that's them over here okay all right You know, I, I don't take five hours, you know, to, like, get into character or anything. What character? I, I'm not that type of uh, individual. 
sometimes I need a couple minutes to calm down to kind of understand where the hell I want to go with something. And then I might stutter a little bit. For, which I'm going to go and do right, you know, to like get into oh, right. character or anything. I, I'm not that type of uh, individual. Sometimes I need a couple minutes to calm down to kind of understand where the hell I want to go with something. And then I might stutter a little bit for a little while like uh, Joe Biden. As somebody said, you're talking about how Joe Biden stutters. Well, you stutter just as bad, Rep. Yeah, well, I <laughs> drank my brain to shit. You know, and there's... Yeah, well, well, when you weren't Shani before she showed up, hey, I can't, I can't take care of you. And don't, don't even look at me about taking care of children. I mean, look at me, I'm a riffraff. Ha <laughs> ha. Drinking eighths of whiskey every, every day, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That was on her. You should have went to some sort of clinic, tried. You know, I really can't believe that nothing serious happened to River. And I can't say that because I don't know. I'm not a doctor. You know, he probably b- broke a lot of uh, brain cells, you know. And I, I really think, like, when he used to stay in the corner staring off into space when Shady made those stupid videos... I really think that that was his brain trying to put itself back together. You know, alcohol is like that. You know, what, what is it? What do they always say? Drugs, you'll feel like you're going to uh, end your life is going to end. But alcohol, no, it, it actually can end because it's that dangerous. Consequences to that, that stuff. You really, really, really don't want to drink okay, too much. Jason. What? Oh, sorry. I didn't know you. Yeah, I'm doing a video. Oh, You're so abusive. Okay, I'm, I'm just... Well, you, remember you told me? Like, do a video. I'm doing it. Hey, what's up? Oh! Lizzie? What's you up? You hear what he just said? Remember how, once again, folks, we she said that we're crazy. She, Rev does videos if he wants to. She has no say. What did she just say here? Do a video. I'm doing it. Hey, what's up, Lizzie? What's up? Do a video. I'm... Okay, I'm. I'm just. Well, you remember you told me like do you a video. I'm me. doing it. Yep. Hey, what's up, Lizzie? Like, what's that's up? trying to be like what? I'm not. Uh, uh, next time I'm on, I'll put you on. Okay. Uh, Lizzie, I'm just doing a quick video here. Anyway, Jesus. Uh, I just want to say to Dragnot. You're a dirty boule, aren't you, boy? <laughs> Here we go. We, I, I would really, you know, I'd love to know your knowledge on what, what exactly you know about all this stuff. But I think maybe the federal government has asked you. Oh, my God, you, you, you idiot. Yeah, and this is what, um, uh, this is what most people think about this situation, that no rev. That it has nothing to do with, uh... You know, pointing someone out or calling someone out. It has everything to do with this is what Rev thinks, Rev and Shane think that they're going to get uh, internet views for and um, click baiting. And uh, he's also very curious about it. You have to understand, with all that BS they talk about, about being good Christians, it's definitely a shield for criticism. But that video, and I, I still want to see if I can get it from G Man. You at least have them photocopy it and send it somewhere where I can pick it up, whatever. Maybe you can photocopy and he can email it to me. They have a book, like like a book, of, like a death note book. And for people who don't, uh, don't know what I'm talking about, it's a TV show on Netflix plus a manga, basically of this kid who finds a boat or a boat, a book in the rain that if you put in someone's name, uh, they will something bad will happen to them let's just say and it's a whole thing and that's what i feel you know with rev's book about putting people's names in it like i think he is very much into you know the occult of course he is where he's a pasty white guy and he comes from pasty white stock so there's no witches or anything like that or anything that could you know do any type of that type of stuff in his family so yeah i would think that uh this poser here is very much into what goes bump in the night besides shaney's farts you know why 
be, because of the Diddy thing. You know? I had to do that. Because there's, there's exactly this thing going on it. right now with Masons. I'm going to tell you that. The Masonic Order. And, and they, they people keep wanting to talk about this, okay, like it's uh, uh, full the Illuminati. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, you know, you know. <laughs> hey, he can he can uh, uh, dance the YMCA on his own time. I just remember him saying uh, there was a chat, right? Uh, if you remember a little bit ago, he was talking about selling a couple of things, and Rev left a GUN there that he went to brought to the police and. Uh, some people wanted those um, uh, the uh, the Star Wars lightsabers, and he said that there was a book, and I just want to get some pictures of it. It's almost like the Tanto Saga, and if anyone doesn't have the Tanto Saga, let me know. You know what? I might just put <laughs> maybe because you know I don't want Rev being like I'm gonna sue, but I might just put the Tanto Saga in my Discord. This way, if anyone wants to read that uh space space age love song. <laughs> <laughs> you can at your leisure. It's not that many pages, and it's just all over the place. It's like a ten-year-old uh, wrote it. Hey, the Illuminati do not exist anymore. The Illuminati was disbanded shortly after 1776, completely. Now, and why are you do talking not about exist, it? Okay. The group that's trying to take over the planet fully. Fully. into their grasp is just known as the order that's all they call themselves they call themselves the order this illuminati shit is uh, just a distraction because it's become entertainment okay okay mr smarty <laughs> and everybody this is a exercise for you i've known these people since 2019 I haven't they haven't changed they only gotten worse and worse downhill with uh, no money haha <laughs> Rez, does it suck now that, you know, when you used to talk about people on EBT, they'd be, like, hanging around uh, eating steak and lobster tail with their pal Tyrone? Yeah, isn't it funny now that you're the one who has to be on EBT eating the steak and lobster tail? <laughs> I love that for you. But anyway, if you're ever in this Riff Raff's chat, all you have to do is ask him, Hey, Rev, that's interesting, uh, uh what you're talking about, uh... Just one question. Can you just please give me the source? You know, they call it receipts. Be like, you know, most people source their sources or they show some sort of proof of the claims that they're making because there's so many fake things online these day. On these days, uh, anything can be just made up and people run with it before they realize, you know. And so there's a retraction and that's unfortunately so yeah if you're ever in there just ask rev can you have something to source this uh this information that you're saying the illuminati oh and then you got beyonce going out there and jay-z and all these guys doing pyramid symbols over their eyes and shit that's just the entertainment industry using something man okay you want to say maybe diddy knows some people that would be considered illuminati uh yeah sure okay but that's not their name. They're just the order, okay? And they're into everything. They're into to sex trafficking and drugs and uh, uh, stuff that's so horrific that we probably not going to go there. Okay. Because you don't know. It's all the evil. And the cup is full. The, 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 the blood of the martyrs is spilt every day in Gaza. Yeah. Yeah. You talk about Israel. They have a right to exist. I'm a Zionist. I am a Zionist. Yes, they have a right to exist. But Bibi Netanyahu is a fucking war criminal. And most of the fucking Ashkenazi Jewish government in Israel are satanic Sabbatean Satanists. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Rev, seriously. Like... Even if you saw this somewhere, like just show a piece of proof, anything. You had a laptop, you had the Alienware, where, where'd it happen? I had the one you had to give it to uh, Shani's son, you know, uh, as a uh, don't get me into trouble bargaining chip, but you have another laptop. There's ways you can source your uh, sources. I mean, I never heard that, but like seriously, Rev, you should, you know, uh, 
show proof before you say this dumb shit. There's Sabbatay and Satanists. Look in the just type that in into your search. Okay, this and this is an anti-Semitism because I love Jews and I'm a, I'm a Zionist. Okay. Hey, Kratos. But Bibi Netanyahu is a war criminal and he's killing children every day. And he needs to be judged by God, and it will come. I believe we're at the time now where the world entirely, which would include it. In- oh, Kratos, you had uh, that's right, you had surgery. Uh, hey, I hope you're feeling better, dude. Uh, straight up, guys. Uh, green hearts for Kratos uh, for a speedy recovery. Includes the United States. Good to uh, see you, bro. We're is turning against Israel. It's now. Hey, Lizzie, have you seen all the Bibles uh, pertaining to the eclipse on Monday? I'm worried. Don't be worried at all, Lizzie. Okay? Look Nothing up for happened. your redemption draws nigh. You got to be ready to see Christ in the clouds at any time. That's the, the doctrine of imminence. Okay? I believe in that. And, and people want to say, oh, there's no there's no gathering of the church together. You're all full of shit. If you start denying that, I'm not going to listen to you no more. Hi, Stacy. What's up? So that's it. I just want to drag not to know that me and Shani had really good sex and I made her come three times. Not doing nothing but just pounding, man, with, with what Ugh. I got. Yeah, I, I... Yo, Rev, thanks. Thanks. I just dropped a bunch of stuff on the floor when he said that. <laughs> that That is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my life. And I'm going to have to bleach not only in my eyes, but my ears. I got her off three times. She squirted and, 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 and pushed my dick out of her pussy, and I shoved it right back in really hard. <laughs> Yeah, right. That little pointy thing with the with, 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 with the Prince Albert at the end. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, I made her come and I pushed it out. Yo, that that <laughs> Rev, it's gray. Okay, man. You can you can try to say anything you want, but did did uh, did Shani, you know? Either she went to the doctor or she went out to the, the arts and craft store to kind of uh, paint over that to offset the gray. And it was amazing. So I want you to know that I, I don't like anything about <laughs> hey, booty holes, right? <laughs> I'm not into that. I know you're boule. I know you're boule, uh, drag. And I know that the boule love it in the booty hole. So you're into that. <laughs> what? And I'm not judging it at all. If you like a, a man's penis in your asshole, that's entirely your deal, dude, you know? And the boulets love it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I'm not judging uh, this, but I know people like this, like this part in this part, and it's the people like it. I'm not saying you do it, or I'm not judging, but the people that you are <laughs> like this type of... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, does he even understand? Like, Rev, you are awful at trying to, like, you know, dance around a word. That's where they're in. This is the video. <laughs> oh, uh, Massey, I, I thought th this was the next video. But, um, I'm, it's all right. I'm, I'm good. This is funny. Two black masons love it in the asshole because they worship the phallus. <laughs> If I didn't worship Jesus Christ, I would worship the female body as a whole. <laughs> as a whole. <laughs> you know, when, when, when Rev says as, as a whole, he means like literally. <laughs> Rev, Rev, and, and to everyone listening, this guy has only been with Shani and the real doll. <laughs> and what do I mean by real doll? I mean those like uh, rubber dolls. You know what I'm saying? Because this is, he doesn't know what it's like, to, you know, he, he doesn't believe that there's other fish in the sea. Because Red feels like, well, what can he offer? It's kind of funny, but again, the, the one day when Shani actually leaves you, and he's going to, I think he'll be surprised. He shouldn't be surprised. But here, let us, let's keep going with this. This is nuts. That would be my deal. Totally. I, I, I and, and as a Christian, I believe in the mother goddess spirit. I think it's a good thing. It's part, it's part, you got to add that somewhere into uh, God's equation. Because Wait, no, hold on. As a Christian, Rev, as a Christian, and I'm not one, but like as someone who believes versus someone who uses religion as, as a, a shield, how are you allowed to lay down with a woman who has children with another guy and you're not even married to this woman? And you never adopted her kids and you laid it, your hands on them on the kids where they had to go because they weren't safe from you and then you lied to your flock 
by having by being outside for a couple of weeks. I'm just wondering, you know. I mean, I'm just wondering. It's so funny. He says this stuff, but there's actually religious people out here that would never lay with a woman that if they're not married to them. And I just feel like it's really messed up. It's the Holy Spirit is definitely feminine. Uh, Chance Wilkins really. I want to. Oh. What the fuck? Mousy Squirrely Chipmunk has just donated five dollars through Super Chat. This is the video I warned you not to play. You can't say I didn't warn you. He was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was the other one. Uh, thanks for the five. Oh, well, he's tired with the with four nine nine as well. Always tired has just donated four dollars and ninety nine cents through Super Chat. Pour one out for our homie Rev, who's only been with one woman, and that's Land Whale Shanny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's a huge bitch. Y you are, you are one hundred percent right. Oh, he's tired. Shanny, Shanny is a whale. Uh. Oh, oh whale sound. Well, the whale sounds aren't working, but <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate the four ninety nine. Man, I gotta find some legit better whale sounds. But here, let's get back to this video. Announce here right now to you guys on the app called Live.me. I am relaunching Revelation News. The account already exists. So I want everybody to download. Oh, there we go. There's the whale noises. <laughs> download the app, Live.me. It's owned by Twitch. And I will be doing full-on Revelation News videos. What? Uh, I'll be even whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, besides the grossness. Uh, <laughs> besides the grossness, folks, are you telling me that Rev is going to be making his own videos again? Awesome. Awesome. You know what? I, I would be into that because I'm telling Rev is funny, especially when it's unfiltered Rev. I mean, not this unfiltered, but unfiltered enough. So yeah, I might be down for watching these guys, uh, watching and debunking everything he says. Go back to like doing the teaching videos once I get a laptop, but I need some money to get a laptop and then uh, just a simple mic, a mic that sounds half decent, you know, ready to go. Oh, what about your Loyman? The one, the one you said was like nine nine or $900 and it was Ale Alex Jones used it. What happened to that? Oh, that's right. Didn't he leave it with G-Man? So that's the deal. I just wanted to give a message to, to, to uh, Boulay. Boulay. Uh, the butt, Robert everybody's Boulay. favorite butt buddy, the Boulay. Um, <laughs> but buddy, <laughs> Draggy Poop. I wanted you to know that I think it's really cute that you wanted to get me and my wife into sex trafficking. I think that's pretty funny. We know that's what you were going for. I said to you, uh, oh, Drag, maybe sometime we can meet up, you know, in real life. That would be cool. He's like, yeah, I think we could probably arrange that. Drag now is part of a sex trafficking ring. Now, I wasn't at the uh, meetup in New York. I talked to a friend of mine that knew some people out there and felt that G-Man was a little too much. I mean, I don't know. I can't, again, I can't say. And he was grabbed by, I think, Drag saying, I am not going to sleep with you or anything. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Again, they're getting all this... Uh, they're getting this one meetup all wrong. And mostly what happened in the meetup, from what my understanding is, is that G-Man thought somebody either stole his phone or tried to steal his phone or something like that. That basically took a majority of it. And some people said that G-Man was acting like a child. So this is just their accounts of it. So all this talk about, you know, sex and sex trafficking, that's just not true. Especially because, you know, Shane and Rev were not there. If you go on his Kiora profile, you can see a bunch of sex workers on his Kiora. One of which has the name Shannon Silvis. Shanny Silvis is one of the hookers' names. This guy wants to fuck my wife so bad. You know that guy, Dragon? <laughs> Dragon's really fucking into Shanny big time. Like crazy into her. Now, Rev, 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 are you talking right now? Or are you talking back in like 2022 when it was just like a joke and everyone clearly knew it was a joke? Because again, I feel like content context is everything. So I just wanted him to know, you know. I forgive everybody for everything, including that guy. I really do. I've, I've let I've let all this shit go. I have. 
Sorry, Lizzie, if it's a little rough. Hey, Lizzie, I, I apologize, okay? If it's a little rough. Hi, Butters. What's up? I'm not surprised Shani is gorgeous. Yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Before he uh, starts doing that. Uh, you guys also need to understand something. A lot of these new people that actually pay them, Shani and Rev, actually buy the religious stuff. And buy that these are two married people that lost the kids because Shani's, you know, you know, my fibro, my mentals and everything. Not about BC that Rev's a, a, you know, a child hitter. So when Rev starts talking about what he, he did with his little uh, wee wee, his baby carrot and everything, they're just like, Rev, this is too much for me. That's why he's got to be like, oh, it was, you know, a joke. See, he has to try to do damage control right away. Shani told him to do that, you know, because you know how many times he's let things slip? You know, even on Shani's live where people are like, I thought you guys were religious. I'm out of here. So she's trained him to always try to talk it back. If people are like, what? You know, this ain't funny. This is kind of gross. He is, isn't she? She's really pretty. You're getting complimented over here, Shani. You know? So I love you guys, okay? I love all you guys. I love you, Lizzie. I love you, Butters. You know, you're really sweet people. And and, and we appreciate the sweet people. We love the sweet people. Not just because you're sweet in one way or another. You're just really nice people. He I'm wants the money. This all. Yeah, it is crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. I love all you guys, okay? And I, I have let this stuff go. But I say to Dragnot, you know, you're a sadist. <laughs> right? What's up, 86 Dana? Uh, you're a sadist, right? So you'll like this anyway. It's a good day for me. Shani came three times. <laughs> she, she pushed me out of her three times because... Yo, God, I'm, I'm moving that up. I don't believe it. Why? For the simple fact that, like I just said, folks, he lived a very sheltered life. He didn't have any girlfriends growing up. He had Shanny, and he had a plastic real doll, which is a doll, a plastic doll. Something that can't tell you, um, <laughs> let me try to keep this as PG as possible. Something that can't tell you that you're in the right, uh, you know, like, here's a map, X marks the spot, but you're way away from the X. <laughs> if you get what I'm, what I'm saying. Um, you know, uh, there's no uh, that thing inside of your mouth type of action. I'm trying, folks. I'm trying. You know, with that being said, uh, I don't believe that this would happen. Especially when you have... Um, Accounts from Shani's actual ex-husband named uh, Chris, who said that Shani was such a very, she was a very, very selfish lover. You know, so she just, it doesn't seem like she would help Rev, guide Rev to the, uh, you know, the ends of the rainbow, so to speak. <laughs> and then she let me give her anal, which is amazing. Because <laughs> <that's not laughs> no, no, I, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, you did not. And then she let me give her anal, which is amazing because that's not something you know. Because I got a, I got a penis piercing. She had a <laughs> Yo, for guys, 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 guys. You understand? You understand that this guy has to clean that butt on a daily basis. On a daily. That's his job. Now, he's like the help. He knows how clean it is by the work he's got to do. Why, 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 Riff? Why? Like, seriously, when you watch this later, I'm asking you, not if more of a curiosity, why would you ever want to go back into those crevices when you were just in there cleaning it? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> and then now he's like, oh, and I have a piercing. That ain't, you know, that ain't gonna help. What's that gonna give you? Uh, not even a, a millimeter extra from your three inches? He needs to do her makeup with me sometime. That'd be awesome, Butters. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how he finds it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kind of right. happy today. Uh, I, it was a good day to be alive. It was a good day for <laughs> anal sex. Yo, you were the worst Christian YouTuber or whatever I've ever met. So hold on, you're a Christian? And your fucking girlfriend's a Christian? Yeah? A bullshit? Yeah? A bullshit? And you're not married? So you're you're not married to her. You have unpro unprotected sex with her. You have premarital sex with her. And you're getting her in the boom boom? That is so frowned upon God. Uh, you, you've heard of Sodom and Gomorrah, right, Rev? You, hell, you've talked about Sodom and Gomorrah. So you're going to commit Sadu me when you know about Sodom and Gomorrah. This is nuts, man. Like, seriously. It's like, yo, man, I don't like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But if you give me some peanut butter and jelly, oh, I'll eat that stuff. I will eat it all day. But I don't like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But yo, if you have some, I'll eat it. I didn't say that. I meant I don't like the crusts, okay? Because the crust is on the cross. That, that That's basically what I'm getting from what this fucking guy is saying. Rev, you make no sense. But here, let me continue because I'm having fun with this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clean right. your dick Is that right, Lizzie? Sorry. Okay. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna go any farther, but... Uh... Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, yo, Rev, Rev, you've already TMI'd. You've already went really far. <laughs> the thing with the the thing with the butt is that there's a little period where you gotta break it in a little bit. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Break it. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry to tell you, Rev. Rev, that was a fold. Yeah, Rev. You had sex with a fold. <laughs> and Rev Shane was just like, oh, yeah, that's totally my butthole. <laughs> How could you tell, Rev? There's so much fat there. I've seen the the OF, unfortunately. But then once it's broken in, oh my <laughs> goodness, Kratos. That, that's not bad at all. But uh, wait, he actually, yeah. So yeah, I, he he just said he he, he uh, you know, he uh, uh, you know, he went to Booty Town. <laughs> he he was down the Hershey Highway. After he cleaned it, probably. I made her come three times with my penis. Like I'm really. Wait, really... whoa, whoa! From 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 Hershey Town. I mean, I uh, the trigger warning. <laughs> I guess we're we're way past. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't think it was gonna get like this. This is funny. Oh my Rev Rev Rev. Man, Rev, come on the show. Like seriously. I don't have to go into anything specific. I'll wait till later to, to just demolish you. But it's got to be like an hour of me just like... I want to play with your mind. <laughs> like for real. I want to dig around in there because there's... Yo, show me on the doll type of shit with you, Riff. I never thought I could do that as a dude. Like, I'm very... I'm pretty shy guy. I'm starting to get less shy, which I'm really happy about. But... I always wanted to do that, and I'm able to do yeah, it. Yeah, 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 folks. Revel, re Revel, <laughs> Revel's a, a, a shy guy. You didn't know that. It makes me happy. Well, let me see what if I can find where she has been a, a, a shy guy. There you go. Yeah, you know what you're doing, Lizzie. Yep. You you just gotta warm it up a little bit with uh, just breaking it in a little bit. That's all it is. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop. All right. We, but I, I just love, you know, I love my relationship. Like, Shani's awesome. She's fun. We got <laughs> some fish nets today me. because somebody blessed us. Yeah, thank you, Lizzie. We're usually not that happy. You know, we got bad stuff going on in our life sometimes. And if we could have good sex, that's a cool thing. Yeah. Surprised you didn't get her preggers yet. She's got her tubes tied, bro. Thank God for small favors. But guys, here, look. You want to see how shy Rev is on stream? Let's see how shy Rev is on a stream. Talking to Shani's children, of course. Honey, you need to get back on the highway. 
I wanted to check on him. Is he? Cause you see Can him? we go park somewhere so we're not like in the middle of traffic? Can you fucking use your fucking head and get off the side of the goddamn road and go down and park somewhere smart? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. If he's so okay, shy. I can get back on. No problem. Get the cat on your lap, you fucking idiot. Yeah, but again, that that's that's for it being sh uh, uh, a shy guys. Oh. Can we see Shani too? I miss her. I, I would love to, but she's really just uh, doing her own thing right now. We've been watching things about meditation and stuff like that, and she's just, she is like in a zone. She'll probably have something cool for you at some point today, maybe even. But uh, for right now, oh my God. Liz, you're like an angel, dude. You're seriously an angel, okay? And I'm not just saying because you do stuff like that, what you just- Oh, oh because she gives out My money? My everyone. Is, is, is that why, Rev? Is, is, that, is that why she's, uh, she's an angel because of, uh... Hey guys, look, I found an even better video. <laughs> While I was looking, in, you, you know me, I like to have context. But yeah, here's, here's an even better video of your pal Riff Raff Rev Revelina here being shy. Uh, by the way, nothing, he's wearing nothing but a, uh, Stormtrooper hat, which does not make sense with Dark Vader's, uh, lightsaber. But, yeah, this is how shy he is, and he did this on, on YouTube. My husband, everyone. Shy, though. God. And they can't see anything other than your, 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 you know, I can't believe you're doing this naked, hum. Yeah, <laughs> they can't see anything even if we were in full screen. Even if it was in panorama, because it's that small. And pointy, it's weird. I think that's why he got that pierced. But I still don't think it's giving him anything. But just weird looks. Dear. <laughs> Honey. Uh, do you enjoy being Star Wars? Yeah, but he's, you know... He's, he's, uh, he's shy, folks. Just dead. I'm not saying it because of that. You're just really a kind person, you know, that you actually friggin' care about people. You just hang on to that. Like, I see Jesus in you, you know? Just hang on to that, because it's really, oh, man, stuff is gonna get weird and tough, guys. And he's gonna show up in the clouds, though. That's great, I love lingerie, can a woman feel... Oh, yeah, that's where it's at. <laughs> I could get, listen, listen, okay? I'm married, so I'm not talking like that, okay? You're not but, married. But yeah, I'm real dirty, okay? I got Ew. a dirty mind. I ain't perfect, man. I want to be as pure as possible, you know what I mean? I really do. I want to be a good boy all the time. I want to be a good boy. Dude, then marry who you're having sex with, you lying-ass Christian. Don't pe perform uh, what your religion deems dirty and disgusting. Any type of oral, you know, uh, fellatio, uh, oral sex. I, I'm not saying I believe in that. <laughs> I think some sort of, uh, you know, uh, uh, person got a Puritan got a hold of the Bible and changed those things around. But that's my belief. But anyway, Rev, if you want this belief of being pure and clean, why don't you marry her first and then talk about how much you just like taking it in her butt? You know what? Another thing, I think you'd rather have it over there because maybe it's not as gray. I mean, it's just, you know, <laughs> I don't know if I should do a poll, but that's just my uh, opinion about that. But I got a dirty fucking mind. Yep. I used to say, like, I, there's things in my head, like, I could be, a, like, Steve Quayle. Steve Quayle, before he got saved, was a pornographer. I could do that job. I got scenes in my head that are really good. Like, if they'd be really hot pornos. <laughs> what? That's awesome. I just sent random cat. <laughs> Yeah, yo, Rhett, what is wrong? Yo, did he just say he has porno scenes in his mind? Jeez. Yo, I've met... <laughs> I met some porno people on movie sets, and they didn't even say that shit. <laughs> like, Rev, Rev, you gotta... You need help, man. Like, seriously. You need to talk to somebody, and not by the government. Like, a real, real person. That you, you can't just be like, I don't feel like doing this. Because you got some major major issues like it's and that's why i feel like people are still watching them at this point because i feel like with shady and rev it's just going to 
something bad's gonna happen and i'm not wishing that upon of course none of us are but it's just you know when you can feel something that's what i feel when i see these two and that works butters it does it the lord knows when you're in need and, and he's gonna send people that are chill and cool you know and thank god for that speaking of good boys gavin kit kats i know is shanny tall yes yeah, she is shanny's 5'11 man shanny is 5'11 what's up uh deanne what's up uh she, she's tall as shit the first time i saw her you know i was like wow you are amazing she's like an amazon her build is like the goddess what when you see when you see the statues of mother goddess like that's her physique no it's not she's over me how tall am i i like i always say 5'10 on my papers if somebody asks my height is 5'10 am i 5'10 without my shoes on i don't know like a like maybe a quarter of an inch under 5'10 so i'm 5'10 yeah so me and shani are like if she does if she wears heels you know, so damn hell yeah with those fish yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. see you get it Liz lizzie you get it yeah the, it's the mother goddess uh shape you know they make statues of it they worship it i would be one of those guys okay before christ oh, before christ came to save okay i would have been in like the fertility temples servicing women that'd be my what? life and i'd be so happy like yeah. that i just give them women organ yeah. i i look that's where i'm at man i feel that way yeah I, you know i'm not gonna deny it it is what it is i i really like pleasing a woman like that's the best thing on the planet to me rev you tell that's so. number one you know what i mean it's like it's better than me coming making a woman come i'm serious that's it look at all right yo all right guys look at this <laughs> Sorry about uh, the pause, pause all the fun. All right, just look at this. This is the police report. Uh, if anyone didn't see it, I just, I just want to point something out. You know, what Rev did, uh, simple assault, physical harassment slash physical strike uh, kick. And it says that Jason's name, it's common knowledge at this point. Uh, 1984, white male, 5'10". Okay. Versus Shani. What do you say a Shani is? That she's six foot something? It says that she's five foot three. And 300 pounds. It says that he's 5'10", 145, 145. She's 5'3", and 300. Yo, what do you guys think about that? A bullshit. Right? A bullshit. A bullshit. No way. Bullshit. She's about five. She's as tall as him, right? Five eight to five ten, but that three hundred, I'd say add another like hundred fifty to that. I can't believe she even said three hundred pounds. So he just said that he usually says he's five ten, uh, you know, in things which we have proof of that. You know, uh, like me, I, I always like to have the receipts. But her being five three, and he just said that she usually says, "Did he say five ten or six foot?" Close enough, right? Though, but uh, she's more than three hundred pounds into Rasputin okay that's it after you're done listening to this go look up a documentary about Rasputin he did sex magic to heal what and it worked yeah it did look into Rasputin people make him the most evil but he was not evil at all he was very yo so he just basically talked about um uh, you know sex to, to, to heal which is I've, I've heard like new age and groups talk about stuff like that. So I guess he's for that. Even though he's only been with Shani. Can you imagine if he's been with somebody else? I think Rev's dynamic on how he thinks would totally change. Very touched by God. But he was dirty. That's for sure. That's because all of us like dirty a little bit. Just yeah. stop to say hello. If you guys need anything, shoot me a message on IG. Glad to see you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm gonna. Ch I'll, I'll check when I end to see if I'm following you. Oh, if five three is five eleven, then three hundred six. You know what? Yeah, I, I can see that. She's big. You know, Shani's got chins on her chins. I'm not sure. Thank you. So, one last thing I'll say. This got pretty lighthearted, so I'm happy about that. One last thing I just say. When I was picking up, it's a primal nature for men. Yeah, yeah. See, you really understand, Lizzie. You know. You got a luck. You got a lucky fiance. You, you you really understand things, yeah. And Butters agrees. You guys are cool, man. You understand. Yeah. 
But when it gets into it, everything is consent, right? That's consent. what it is. Yeah, exactly. But guys could also get very carried away. That's the problem. And and then like you know you see the porn, guys. Yeah, you see the porn, man. You and it's see like the sometimes porn. guys can get really riled up and hurt. I I seen porn, so like right after they're done. Yeah, she's bleeding. She's bleeding, man. Dude, what no. the fuck? He, he's this Dragnaut and what Dragnaut did. And, and and now it's here. I was gonna like move up because like dude, like his brain is all over and he just said that he has like fantasies, like p- pornographic fantasies. I wonder if Shitty knows about that. It's just like that is like he needs to be seen by someone. I would say locked up, but at least like seen by some sort of doctor and have him on some sort of SSRI to calm down that that rev libido he's got. SM. It's some of it's hot. Some of it's hot. Yeah. yeah. Guess you're really riled up sexually. Uh the stuff pain. The pain part of it. I think it's unhealthy. If you have a person that's really enjoying pain during sex, I see something that they need to we need to have a talk about it. Are, we who? You? <laughs> who, who's only been with Shanny? <laughs> are you sure you're okay? Did you experience something horrible? And 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 you're, and you're enjoying uh, having some kind of unpleasant feeling with the play. I don't, yeah, I see a dysfunction and I'm not judging it. I'm just thinking the pain, why? And that can go very far as we all know. Mm-hmm. Okay, it could go from we're having consensual sex to you're being tortured really fast, am I right? That could happen really quick. And if the guy's riled up, he's like, no, okay, you consented, we're gonna do this. And he puts a fucking nail through your nipple. Dude, what, is this a... Like- Dirty porn faces of death. What are you watching, man? I gotta move you up a little bit because you're just being really gross, man. Like, what the hell are you watching? Like, I feel like when Rev says these ideas, it's because some dirty ass porn that Shanny made him like uh, look at, or maybe he's doing it on the DL, you know? Because Rev used to do that, he used to look at porn like on his phone and shit in the bathroom. Like, you know, he's gross, like when the kids were there and shit. Not, it's not big with me either i don't feel those feelings because why would you want to give somebody that's beautiful like a super hot girl why would you want to hurt her why no you you want to make her fucking quiver and squirt no dude dude what the hell are you talking about uh and dude that day rev or uh, shady was like peeing on you that's what you want if you're a normal dude like, I think closeted homosexuals want to hurt a woman. Like fisting videos and stuff like that where the, the girl isn't even wide. And they're just shoving their fucking hand right up in her and hurting her, screaming. That's, if she's into that, okay. I worry about you. But okay, you have that freedom. Because she wants to be hurt. Yeah, see, that's the thing, Lynn. And that makes me so sad. Like, there's something behind that. Because she wants it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right. Some chicks like it. That's it. I just worry about why you like it. Because pain can go so far to kill you. And you get into snuff films. And that's where that shit comes from. Okay. Torture porn. Yeah, torture porn. That's what it ends in. Yeah, I have mixed feelings about it. Yeah, it's me too, Liz. It seems like you like Choking it. Choking is hot as fuck. Lots of people agree with you, Lynn. And that's cool. If you, you got to have your safe words, you got to trust your partner. And if you want to just, you know, I got my necklace. This thing is like, I couldn't even believe it. Oh, what is that? Yo, Red, where's like your uh, cross? Again, everybody, why is he a Christian? How can he hide behind criticism with that? He doesn't wear like a, a cross. He doesn't go to church. He does things against the Bible. Like, you know, not being married and stuff. And anal and everything like that i'm just saying that they, they, they don't believe in that but not only does he brag about it, but he's like i'm the coolest guy ever in the room and, and isn't that why you're supposed to uh, uh please women and everything all that gross thing he said he says that though but then he wants to talk a, against drag from something that he is totally wrong about years ago like none of this makes any sense at all that's why i feel like it's just him 
trying to stir up drama or controversy because that's what Shani does. She lives for the drama. Even Shani's late mother even said so. This, but this, this thing's like a sex toy. You want to see this shit? You what? Just like you're, you're doing it right. Yo, if he puts his dick in there, and you can just pull this thing right in your neck and. What? 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 Oh, uh, yo, 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 yo. Is he talking about like, like that guy that, that you know, that was in Kill Bill that liked uh, asphyxiation, like asphyxiation? Yo, Rev, Rev. Shady wants to. Yo, is there an insurance policy on Rev? Rev, Shani, if you're watching, Shani wants to take you out and say it was a sex thing. Just like when she beat you with the fetish whip. Remember, Rev? Remember with the fetish whip? Yo, she's gonna <laughs> have you take that to yourself. And that does what it does. And you don't get air. And then she's going to be like, oh my god, I guess I get the house and everything. Man, Rev, she don't... <laughs> Again, selfish lover. Rev, if that's something you want to do, why doesn't Shani wear that? Is Shani wearing one? Oh, I bet, I, I bet not. You know why? Because someone usually has to be in control. And that's usually the damn manipulator. <laughs> They're going to use that. This is literally a BDSM device. This my necklace. Wow. That could be real hot. I'm just saying. It's about trust, exactly. I'm not doing torture burn. I'm having hot, uh, fun with a hot man. Exactly. Yeah. Sex isn't fun. A little bit of blood. Jesus. If it's not rough, it isn't fun. See, there you go. Yo, Ref, why don't you try like that game first, you know, before you do that with Shandy. Like, you know, uh, she stands behind you. So you see if you can fall and she'll catch you. Try that trust exercise before you uh, do the choke yourself shit. <laughs> There you go. We got we got an agreement in here, and and I'm not gonna lie to you when I when I fuck Shani today, uh, uh. I was so hard and pulling her skirt. Up. No, we're adults here. This is if, listen. If there's any kids in here right now, go leave. Okay. You can't keep getting. We're away talking. We're talking. It's adults. We're adults. Everybody likes sex, man. Unless Dude, you're. But you're you're not married, and you claim to be Christian. That's the problem. It's not about the talk. You see, again, these two, they'll always say that, but they don't understand. Like, okay, Rev, you and Shannon can be as sexist and as um, racist. No one's saying that they can. No one can come there and cut your tongue out for that. But expect to get uh, pushback because people might not like it because they just don't like it. You know, you can say it, but it doesn't mean people have to like it. Just like with this stuff, you know? Oh, we're all adults here. That, well, that may be true. And I hope so. But you're still coming off as a Christian with Christian values. Claiming. How can you be if you have no uh, values? So why don't you just say you're not a Christian and you're just like a degenerate like the rest of us. And then we can just move on from there. You're bad, unless you're asexual Guys, you know, and you don't right. have feelings like that because that's a thing too everybody loves sex come on bro does shani know you're sharing this yeah yeah right yeah it's <laughs> no big deal i was coming on here to just make a little funny dragnet video for now and kind of announce the live.me thing go go get live.me app and i'm relaunching revelation news soon yeah you just joke yeah it's all cool man i love having talks like this because i've always been a very sexual person but I kept it inside because I was very self-conscious. Yeah, yeah, because he, you know, he had no one else. So he had his hand and he had his real doll. It's about my body and stuff like that, you know. Shani's relaxing. She's like in meditation mode. Good sex is so healing for your relationship, too. I mean, I you feel guys understand. He had a whole torso. I'm sure if time went on, he would have had a whole body, you know. <laughs> you know, with a, with, a, with a wig and clothes and everything. I feel like it reconnects you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just like after we do it, I just want to cuddle her, you know, Liz. Ew. I just want to cuddle her so much, which I'm gonna go and do right now. To drag Yo, out the he he cuddles her and then he gets lost in the in the flaps. <laughs> you know, I swear, one day he's not gonna be able to breathe. You know, that I saw that on a thousand ways to die. Like a guy paid for the uh oh, a woman like the size of Shani and he was the size of Rev 
And like the boobs suffocate the dude to death. Like, hey, Rev, I hope you have a safe word, bro. Straight, straight off. <laughs> Boule. You like it in the booty hole, don't you, bro? Oh, you <laughs> like that booty hole of the boy. You like the booty hole of the boy. And you like having you like having a pipe in your booty hole, don't you, Boule? Bad boy. You gotta repent. You need Jesus. Yep. Look at those eyes, man. Look at those eyes. Alright. Enough with the red for now. Maybe next video, I'll go into uh, a more of, of that stuff. Because like I said, with Rev, it's just like, you know, there's so much, you know, uh, I kind of took a break. But now, since they're going nuts, I'd rather, now I can talk about it. But like I said, I showed you guys a million times about the name and everything. So, you saw it. Now, uh, next time you talk to them, you know, you just be like, Rev... You're so full of it. All right, so what we're gonna do next? We'll do a Cyrax live on kick. You know what? I I know Vaughn has been going down, so we'll do Cyrax this uh, time. And while I do Cyrax, I'm gonna do a poll. If you want me to do a Cyrax video next video or a Vaughn Helton video, okay? But uh, let's get into Cyrax. He's saying, uh, "You don't control me anymore, bitch. Get banned, bitch." <laughs> Dude, I thought he was gone. But let's hear what the what the goblin has to say. All right, guys, don't forget to uh, don't forget to like. Here we go. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I'm not. Oh, I mean, hell. you guys sit there and you say that you can control me, but. Uh... You don't control me anymore, motherfuckers. So I mean, when, when are you guys gonna learn? When will you fucking idiots learn that you don't run my life? Not like you used to. I mean, it's cute that you think you do. It's cute that you think you run my life, but you really don't. I mean, it's honestly funny to me. See, you brainless little bitches that are over on YouTube that are coming over here trying to spew all this negative shit just don't fucking get it. See, anytime I see something negative in my streams or on my videos from now on, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to respond. Yeah, because nothing will happen. You know what I'm going to fucking do? Is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna block you from my goddamn channels. Any negative comment that I see on. All right, guys. There's the video. There's the uh, um, poll for you. My videos. I'm blocking you. Any negative comment that I see on my streams, I'm deleting and blocking and reporting you. Why do you think you motherfuckers can't comment on my fucking videos on YouTube anymore? Yeah, that's right, because I blocked your bitch asses from ever being able to comment on my shit. Why? Because I'm no fucks given anymore, dude. He's no fucks given. I don't give a fuck. You can comment your negative shit. About I'll just go in and I'll fucking ban it. So that the people that do want to enjoy my content can enjoy it without being fucking harassed. That yeah, applies for both Ali. here and on YouTube. And if you don't like it, well, guess what? I don't fucking care. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, and I'm sure he's saying that because look at the chat. Uh, reported. But by... <laughs> but by, uh, uh, Cyrax. Pito. Pito. Shout out to the word boy. <laughs> And that's just his archiver, people don't know. So basically, they're just messing with him. Because Cyrex, you know, he's not supposed to, I guess he was banned on kick as well. Damn. I'm working right now. I'm not, not now, unlike you, Chance, but I will make time to report a, uh, uh, you know, a pedo anytime. Hey, Cyrex. Pedo. 
We found you so much for being a ghost. You are such a bug-eyed little... That's the thing. He said he was taking a break. Hey, look at his nose. What happened? I mean, I'm just wondering. It looks like something, someone hit it, like Marty or something. Flatten that part out. Report it. Kiss this platform goodbye. You gotta go. Man, he's got no support. Here, let me just uh, bring him up a little bit. But I, I like that. I like that for him. Because he shouldn't, you know? I mean, any uh, person who exposes... Preds like Cyrax. What else do we do? You know, I mean, I can sh- I can give the police, which I will, the conversation that the person said that they were underage, and Cyrax said he'd give a chance, and then he whipped it out and started whipping it out like things that he- Cyrax should never have done. After saying, "Hey, I'm not 18," most adults would say even a Cyrax, even a 43 would be like, okay, uh, sorry for the misunderstanding. I gotta block you now because I'm the adult. You can't even make uh, consent. And that's what we want, Cyrax. Not for you to keep going and whip it out and do those other gross things you do when you think you're talking to a minor. Well, guess what? I don't give a fuck if they make new emails. I'll just go in and block them all over again. Like this. Bye, N-word faggot. <laughs> He's too much. I j- You know, wait, what? Oh my god, look at that, look at that mouth with the, with the beard. It's flavor saver. It's like, what, what do you want? Rev talking about how many times he was with Shanny? Or this guy talking about, you know, <laughs> saying every gross word in the book. And, you know, other words that, you know... YouTube doesn't like, but like I said, that's why I can just boost them up. And remember, check out uh, Edward Boy 3.0 uh, if you want the un and the uh, unedited version. And I have him and William Glory Hole in my description all the time, you know, so people know where I get my um, it, um, get my videos from this evening. Let me tell you, all this time of being away from YouTube mostly and mostly sticking to myself, I've actually learned a lot. I learned that I need to not do a fuck about what these little bitches like N-Word Boy and them say or do. And I also found out that you little motherfuckers, you trolls, not you Merp, but the trolls, you're cool. Uh, uh, yeah, but I kind of learned that I need to just not give a fuck. Hence, why I came back. Because I no longer give a fuck what these people think or do. That's it. And I learned that if I'm going to be successful, I have to endure this shit. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna get the. Uh, keep the uh, poll for a little long. Right now we're at thirty-six percent Von Helton and thirty uh, sixty-four Cyrax. The thing was, I haven't talked about Von in a while. I stopped because like people were getting in trouble for misinformation, but now I I think because the stuff has lifted, uh, it's okay. And Cyrax, like my God, like he, <laughs> like seriously, he looks like one of those like. Plum Island rejects, you know. <laughs> he's got the one ring around his neck. He, he's got his precious. Dude, yo, Cyrax, seriously, seriously. That head. What are you doing? Stop scratching. Neosporin. Just paper towel that. Duct tape to your head. Like, just seriously. This looks terrible. It's red. Yeah, well, you know what? I have that non-giving up attitude. You want to know why? And I'll just say again, you know, uh, I saw the messages Cyrax got, that Cyrax gave out. I saw how he speaks to women that he thinks are 15 years old. It is disgusting. It is not fake. That is 100% true. I tr- I never try to report anything, you know, that's why, you know, uh, like two years ago, I did a couple of videos on him. You can see they're on my channel, but not many because I really needed some sort of proof. And now I have all the proof I need, unfortunately. This guy does need to go down. But really, like, what sucks is, like, the police can get there and they just let him go. 
You know, if, if he showed up at somebody's house or something, I think that'd be a different story. Then he'd have to like be registered or at least get arrested there. But he's such a homebody. But still, I, I don't think because of his disability or whatever that he blames for his bad actions, his shield, that he should be able to just sit home and talk dirty to women he thinks are under the age of 18. It's just nasty, folks. Because my job is fucking worth fighting for. What job? Me yeah. being able to make a living is worth fighting for. Me being able to make a living for myself and my family is worth fighting for. Ah, Steve from Bitch Squad. Bye, fag boy. You're so messed up, Sarax. Yo, Matty K, what's up, dude? I appreciate it, man. Whether you're a guy or a girl, I don't know, but I appreciate it. Yeah, you, ah, you, you want to see my dick? <laughs> a scarecrow. Man, I, I love doing this shit. You see what I mean? I don't give a fuck what these people think. Anybody that comments anything negative? And like I said, like, you know... My like I have many opinions uh, about the I love the, the uh, uh, so-called cows emo. I know he wears a diaper. He's mentally ill. But I was always like, is he hurting anybody else? Uh, Cobes. Cobes a good example. Yeah, Cobes. There's something wrong with him. But I know he what he plays guitar. Uh, he's got social security. He takes care of himself, right? I mean, I, I believe so. Lives in uh, a section eight apartment, whatever. But at least. He's better than sh like a Shani and Rev because he's living on his own. He he's I remember he made a video about Chris Chan saying that that was disgusting. That dude's a mother banger, which he, Chris Chan is, and he was so disgusted. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, sure. Copes has some cow like mentality, especially when he, when he gets mad. Usually that's the best part when the cows shine when they get mad. But I felt like as a cow. He's on the lower end spectrum where you got Cyrax, who is a cow, lives with Grandma Sally, who says is his mom, and he's still doing these bad things. You know? I mean, I don't know what's worse. Rev and Shani, who just totally think that their kids, it was justified that they left because she couldn't take care of them because my mentals and her obesity. Uh, Crystal Station, who basically couldn't uh, feed her kid. And uh, the, the kid's face was like purple when the CPS showed up or whatever. And how to get them taken away back in like 2012 or whatever. Or uh, Cyrax, who's like still hitting up young, uh, young little kids. So I feel like people like that, that are actually hurting people, you know, that's who I want to go after. Not just randos. So I, I'm sick of when he says it's a, it's because of his goblin-like appearance or anything. Like, dude, we, we don't care about that, okay? You can keep the one true ring. We care about if you're, like, you know, uh, trying to hit up some, like, 14-year-old girl because we have proof of it. And I don't know why the Akron police doesn't do anything, but it's really surprising. But if anything does happen to you, at least we have stuff. You know, and then they wouldn't be able to ignore it. And it would, you know, we could basically add to a court case. But that's how I feel about the whole thing. You know, I like going after people that are actually hurting others uh, besides themselves. You really think I give a fuck, Southern bitch, wait? <laughs> hey, Southern Harlot, why don't you go back to the street corner where you belong, bitch? I mean, you're literally the definition of a whore. That's what a harlot is. A whore. That's literally the definition. Southern harlot literally... Yeah, I'm going to move him up. Yeah, uh, Soren, um, exactly. It is good to know what's happening in our culture. You know what? I will do uh, another poll. Uh, why uh, this is going on. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And yes, Clackers, this is live. Ah, goodbye again. Ah. You really 
think I give a fuck, dude? I have 30 fucking emails, motherfucker. You really think I give a shit? I have 30 different emails with 30 different accounts. You really think I give a fuck? What does that mean? That probably means he's been, you know... You really think I fucking care? I don't. Go ahead and report it. I'll just make another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. You think... <laughs> That's called banavating, you goblin. Um... But yeah, is that what that means? He just made a bunch? Well, Cyrex, that not only is that ban evading, but maybe if you would have walked away and came back, you might have been able to be monetized. There's also a thing called StreamYard where you can, people can, oh, or sorry, StreamLab, where they can click, click on it and you would be able to get something like what I used to do before I was monetized. There's ways to do this. So I'm just glad that, you know, that would never happen. That's why I'm so fun. I'm so astonished that he thought that he got 100k subs. <laughs> I think I'll give a fuck now. Yeah, the reason why you're going to report is because you're a fucking pussy. Only pussies report me. Only faggots and bitches like you report no. me. No, people who don't like words like that. And having a guy who who's already banned from, I guess, what, what he's on kick, you know, uh, people are faster than, than the AI robot that's supposed to find goblins like you. Like, I, I'm surprised that the AI hasn't, like, you know, have a picture seared into its, like, memory stick, you know? You know, because you're not a normal-looking person. But again, that's not why people go after you. <laughs> it's your, your, the way you are, your goblin-like ways. Like, like uh, Sora was just saying, that you know we're interested in, t in the goblin culture. <laughs> we want to know: Is it one ring? Will you ever have another ring? Uh, do you stay out? Do you stay under that bridge all day? <laughs> is there, or do you tell Sally, hey, "Bring me some food down here, bitch"? <laughs> yeah, I'm going too far with this. But like, seriously, it's the culture for real. I agree with that. If you were poor me, you're a punk ass bitch. Oh, I guess I'm a punk. And you're then if you guys claim to not be bitches, then why are you gonna be doing shit? Damn, look at those shoulders. Man, that yo, Sally was like, get this mistake out of me. And they must have taken take the, 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 the toy plunger method and pull them out as quick as possible. Cause you know they, they they were not into you know, they were like, yo, listen. Uh, Sa uh, uh, or his mother's maybe we need to slow it down do it slowly so so the goblin comes out normal and she was like I've got time for that and pushed him out like a poop see the only reason why you don't want me on kink or any streaming platform is cause you know that's where I make my motherfucking money at bitch, bitch. that's all it is you don't want to see me succeed you don't want to see me win why? Because you want to control me. That's your little way of trying to magically control me. Magic. That's all it is. That's y'all's little magical way of trying to control me. Well, guess what? Fuck your control, motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, you have a shower. I genuinely do not give a fuck what you little bitch you want He's fast for him. Yes. And again this person clackers wait I thought you were gonna be gone for a few years or something you know people that actually stick around and, and that have no idea and I've seen this you have no idea you go into a site because you've heard of them you're like let me check them out and then they get attacked and screamed at because they think you're somebody else. It's horrible. Peter. Like I said in my video on Facebook, man. Ew. The only reason why you motherfuckers don't want me doing anything is because that's your little fucked up way of controlling me. No. Oh, man, you see that? Hold on. Your little fucked up way of controlling me. Oh, oh you see that, guys?
Oh, oh my god. Like, seriously, Sarax, please, go to a dermatologist. This one's like, yo, oh, oh my god, you, you know that thing? It's all called, like, what, what, what para-something, paradolia, where you can't look at, like, a bunch of circles together? Like, I think I have that, because this is, yeah, yeah, I, I gotta move along. I gotta move along. Ugh. Y'all just want to use me for money, that's all it is. Y'all don't believe the pedo shit. You just want to use me for money. No, I believe that the, uh, the, uh... Pito. Stuff. Oh, I can tell you why, Optimus Corpse. Because these motherfuckers would call up there the minute that I get a job and do whatever they could to get me fired. Oh my god, the, the rev, the rev angle. I, dude... I love the Rev Angle for the new people, guys. Let me let, me, let Draven here, Daddy Draven, uh, explain to you what the Rev Angle is. Rev Angle is he can never get a job because people will go online, look up the job, even though they don't have to even say what job. It could be anything, it could be online stuff, it could be anything. Uber Drive, whatever. And they'll magically find once a Rev puts a name in a in a uh, you know a thing an application who will magically find it and then we'll be like don't hire rev because he's a ha 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 and alcohol and child abuse and his neck is weird and he talks about weird stuff but he claims to be uh christian and cyrax is like you know pito <laughs> and stuff like, like no that's not gonna happen they did it with my biological father. Wait, they did it with my friend Brendan, who unfortunately is no longer with oh, us. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. I'm going to bring him up a little bit. I just hate when he does that. I hate when he brings up people who passed away. Again, this is more shield. It, it, cows are cows. Some are more gross than others, but cows have a cow mentality. They use everything and anything to shield themselves from criticism. Might not be permanent right now. But eventually, that permanency will happen. You just don't know when, or where, or how. But trust me, when the time is right, you guys will all be gone. Every single one of you will be wiped out. You guys are holding... Let me tell you troll something, man. You guys are holding on to a dying way of life. Where you says you because you don't get anything out of it. Wow, I'm still gonna keep this going for a little bit. I got 53% Shani and 47 Cyrax. So, um, if I still get more Shani in 10 minutes, then I'll play a Shani one after this, and then that'll probably be it uh, for tonight. But I wanted to give you guys a good video. It's been, it's been a while, and you know, I want us to get back to just laughing and having fun laughing at these cows. But remember, don't touch the cows, don't make fun of them, don't bother them. I have a thing in my description that says no cow tipping. Do not talk to them, do not bother them. Karma will, of course, get them. Look at Shandy and Rev. What are you guys gonna, what, what are you guys gonna do in 10 years when everybody else has moved on from the drama? Where are you gonna be then, motherfuckers? I don't know, talking about somebody else. <laughs> What? You don't think that I don't see how some of you guys want to see me die? You don't oh, think that God, I don't see stop it. the post that y'all about wanting oh. me to suffer? I'm sorry, that was really, really, really loud. Smart, bro. You trolls ain't shit. You only think that you know what you're doing, but really, you don't know jack fucking shit. Yeah, well, why don't you prove us uh, wrong with some receipts and everything? You got a, a PC there because I remember you were crying like a baby over um, losing your um, Steam account. So, like, you, it's so easy for you to be like, this is my side. This is my side of the story, bitch. These are my messages. They were fake messages. I never showed my racks to anybody. But he never does that. He just yells and complains. See, I can sit here and ban you niggas all fucking Whoa, day. Jeez, yo. Your grandma smack you with my, that mouth? Community. All trolls are pussies, chomos, and cowards. That's Well, uh, again, this is Cyrax's projection. Because, uh, why do people need to be uh, chomos? When, when, uh, we're trying to stop you from talking to little kids. 
you know we figure we do a sting operation we send uh the uh thing the messages to the to the police in your area just so they have a record of it and take it from there while they don't arrest you i don't know you know it just sucks but uh we're gonna keep trying that's all you guys are you're a bunch of drug induced little faggot cowards Whoa. that's all you are He's so nice, right? Oh, another little bitch that thinks he... Oh, here he goes. He sees somebody else. Again, like, why doesn't he just either embrace it or just turn his comments off? There's so many things he can do. I don't know anything about Kick. But, like, you know, if he really thinks that he didn't do these things, there's other ways to do it. I mean, I've learned ways to do it. I'm like, all right, uh, you know... It doesn't matter to me. It's the internet. You can have a different opinion. I really don't care. I actually like it when people are, are in the chat or uh, do live streams with me that we don't agree on everything. I think it's uh, kind of fun. He knows what he's talking about. See ya. I, I love these. I love this made up shit, man. The shit y'all make up is actually funny as fuck to me. Oh, they definitely are, Luxed. They definitely are, Luxed. Or these guys are fucking psycho. <laughs> these guys have no lives, dude. They literally have no lives. This is what they do for a living, dude. They go after people like me because they're bored as fuck and don't have a life to live. And they're angry that they don't do anything with their lives. So, they take out them not having a life. On other people. No, people are angry that we many of us sent stuff to the police and they haven't done anything. Because you cry about it's because your physical appearance, just the same thing you do with YouTube, and then for some reason they let that go. Instead of looking at the messages, you whipping it out, it's your body part, it's in your uh attic up here. And uh, you find you think that is totally okay, and this is why you keep getting away with everything because there's no consequences to these actions. I mean, even you hit a guy with a bat, yeah, he was on the sidewalk, but still the sidewalk, it's not Cyrax's or Sally's, better yet, rented sidewalk, it's the town's. Uh, you would know that if you knew anything about renting or something. But it's like you're gonna be living like in somebody's like attic or whatever for the rest of your life. It's so pathetic the things you will not know about the world. But I'm so glad that you will like not like reproduce because last thing we need is smaller goblins running around. This is what they do. Yeah, it's deflection. I agree. I, I this agree. is exactly what they do because they don't have lives. Because they are failures at life. The reason why I don't have a Twitch anymore is because of these motherfuckers. Because they don't want to see me win. Why? Because they want to use me and extort me. How? They wanna... How is anybody extorting you? If someone gives me a like and say nice stream, Draven, that's cool. If someone gives me like two ninety nine or becomes a member, like I, I think you're funny. You know, two ninety nine a month just to hear your your jokes. Uh, that's extorting you? No, I think that's you know liking what I do, and you're just some of the, one of the people that I talk about. Yo, it looks like he's got a fake mustache, and like he, he put tape over it. <laughs> that's a great pause face extort me for money because they don't think that I'm good at anything you're not in my opinion that's all it is nigga fuck Bro. you okay if I, I, I love that I love that Sarax thinks he can just like be so edgy but then when you talk to him privately Oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? There's a lot of fake things going around about me online. Like, dude, you are so... He's another one who's really bipolar. Like, very, very bipolar. You think Sally, though, went to go um, 
you know, again, an, what is it called? Like an IEP or some sort of test just to see what's wrong with him? No. I can make it if I can do it. If I can make it as a streamer and as a YouTuber, so can they. And sometimes you got to go through a little bit of motherfucking hell to get to where you want to be. And guess what? I'm that motherfucker that'll walk through hell and not give a single fuck, dude. I don't fucking care. I will stare every single fucking troll in the face and laugh at them because they have no lives. All they want to do is stop. use... Yo, you hear that? Is it me? Like, seriously, that is scratching. I will stare every single fucking troll in the face and laugh at them because they have no lives. All they want to do is use people for money. Yo, he's scratching his legs. Because they're lazy as fuck and don't want to work. That's all it is. They don't want to see somebody like me that actually has talent. <laughs> talent. They don't want to see somebody like me that actually has talent. No, I don't, need so I don't want to see someone flat nose like you. Uh, you know, just generalizing. Scratching their balls on stream. With a dead rat in that Doritos pack. <laughs> actually has skills that what I can skills? utilize to make an honest living. What skills? Doing streaming and being a YouTuber and stuff like that. They, they don't want to see that for me. Why? Because they want to utilize me for money. That's all it is. They want to utilize me for money. That's all it's ever been about with these guys, man. It's all about the money. They don't give a fuck. A fuck. Dude, stop scratching. It's all about the money for them. And Possum, let me challenge you on that for a second. Do you really think that he would have done that if the trolls didn't push him so far? They took advantage of that poor boy knowing that he was mentally handicapped. They took advantage of that poor boy knowing that he was handicapped. Knowing that he couldn't really tell right from wrong. He was severely handicapped and they knew that. And they took advantage of him. And I'm telling you right now, if they did not push him the way they did, I guarantee you without a shred of a doubt, he wouldn't have done that shit. Yeah, I guarantee you. And again, this is this is the goblin talking about someone else who ended their life because of a misunderstanding. That's what was uh, that's what has been told to me. And it doesn't matter for Cyrax because he's going to use that as his shield to hide behind. That, well, that this happened to somebody else. So, so what? Or more like, this happened to somebody else. <laughs> that's, what that's, that's how Sarax sounds in my head. It, that doesn't mean anything, Sarax, but you were actually caught with these things. I saw pictures and videos and texts. You were being disgusting, you know? You, you try to talk about things that you want to do in life, but it was just the same stuff, same lies. That people are obsessed with your music career. Like, listen, Cyrex, if you had a legit music career, like under a label, there'd be nothing that that label could do about it. I mean, that, you know, people could do about it to fix the label. But you don't, like, go online and talk about it. You just get it done. That's why you're a cow. This is no one's business. You know, make a label or. Go on a label, make an uh, album first, then talk about online after. I mean, if that's actually what you want to do. But, Cyrex, you're not good enough, you know? You're, you're not good enough to have a, to make music. And you would get some sort of an advance. Yeah, you don't really need to do that anymore with, you know, these uh, things that, like, you know, that you can make music with. But you still need permission to just, like, sing over Linkin Park shit. Without a shadow of a doubt, he would not have done what they did if they did not push him. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, man. If they wouldn't have done what they did to him, that boy would not have gone through with what. Okay. 
Oh yeah, by the way, guys, you gotta let me know. I've done two parts of the uh, Cyrax documentary. Uh, I want to keep going. Um, I mean, it's steadily doing okay. Um, yeah, it's getting there, but you guys just let me know uh, in, the, in the comments if uh, you want a part three of that Cyrax documentary. I, I just figure one day people are gonna want to see, you know, what happened with Cyrax and my take on everything and, and what I've witnessed. So people will be like, oh, well, that's just a smeared documentary. Like, no, this stuff is real. And, you know, especially with him com uh, contacting uh, minors. The very same fucking people that go after me, that same community. I'm not saying it's all the same ones that went after me. Nope. Ah. <laughs> I, guess, I, guess, uh, I guess that's what happened with Cyrax. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, because he wasn't supposed to be on there, from what I hear. So yeah, that that's a big old. Uh... <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me let me uh, let me look at something. But that's great that that happened to him. Uh. Well, this one's, uh, no one owes me. I don't want that. Uh, we can listen to this one, and then, uh, I'm gonna look at something with Shanty, so. Um. Because, yeah, uh, let's see. Blessings and something? Ooh, I did not see that one. Oh. You know what? We'll just watch this Shanty one, and then I don't know if I'll go into, uh, that other Cyrax one, but, uh. We'll just play it by ear, folks. Thanks for being here. I want to thank you guys. Ew. One love. One Don't love. Touch thank me. you. Thank you. Um, but yeah. I know they ain't going to stop, and haters are going to hate because that's all they have. Uh, Shanny, Shanny, you're, you're talking about people that aren't around anymore. You're talking about what their uh, channel names have been. Calling them black Freemasons that were doing sex orgies. They want to include you in the sex orgies. Like, I don't even know. Even know. It sounds so ridiculous. And then, um, and then what happens? And then Rev, being Rev, uh, comes on stream and talks about, uh, getting you in the, uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what do you think is going to happen, Shanny? To make themselves feel good in life, I guess. Uh, me on the other hand, I'm just gonna be me. I don't I don't care about the shaming, the hating, <laughs> the trying to explain my life even though they don't know who I am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore. You know, I'm at a uh, point in my life now, see, where I'm just I'm I'm just gonna choose me. I'm gonna choose my husband, and I'm gonna choose my sons and my cats. That's that's where I am. Yeah, sure. You know, uh, like you want to come to me and say shit things to me. That that like the only thing that's gonna happen is you know you get blocked and then maybe I pop off a little. Uh, a little. But like, I got better things to do with my life. And there's much more interesting to, to do on the internet than what, I guess, you guys do. What a horrible mother. What a horrible mother. She thinks that this is her God, like, God did that work to her. Like, okay, she is so not sober. I, you know, give me the amount of, you know, how much pen I've tried to even see just as a test. <laughs> and no way, no way. She's like in, I don't know, vampire mode. Um, this must be tons of weed, maybe some alcohol and uh, other things because she's definitely not on just Gabapentin and Delta 8 or Delta 9. I refuse to think that. I, I totally do. I, but again, the question is how the hell, who's giving these idiots money? You know, I hope it's not the same people from before because. The only reason they're doing that is to fund their drug uh, um, habit. But uh, yeah, Shanny, you're disgusting. You haters. 
Uh, I hate liars. You haters, debaters. You three teethers. You're just dumb. And the more time goes on, the more dumb you look. Yeah, look who's talking. You know, <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, look at, look at. It. The more dumb people, what's it goes on, the more dumb you look. Yeah, 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 Shady. A little faster than that. You know. <laughs> the more dumb people look. <laughs> I'm not worried. Like, seriously, this is like, the way she looks, this is how she should be sounding. About anything. I'm not worried about death. I'm not worried about life. I'm not worried about my loved ones because I know ultimately God's got this shit. Wow, she actually sounds normal. I know ultimately God is my Avenger. I know ultimately that everything that happens to me is under God's will. Because see, God. I'm, I'm being still, you know, and I'm waiting on him. And whatever I need, I ask and he gives. Yeah. How many times did you ask him for your uh, kids back? But again, thank God that that's, that that prayer hasn't been received because that'd be unfair to them, the actual victims, the kids who didn't ask to be with you. Yo, how dare you? How dare you have them in that that those hotel rooms and in cars when you guys had nowhere to go? And you're like, begging people to stay with them. Like, how dare? Like, I just feel it's really bad for those kids to ever have to have done that. That is so messed up. You guys are the worst. I'm not even gonna call you parents. Just, just the worst people ever. Rev to me was never a parent. Rev hit a school bus when he had your your autistic son in the car. Way to go, Shanny. It's facts. It, it's it's a scientific fact, okay? And you know you know how you, you you examine something and you repeat it a bunch of times to know that there's a scientific conclusion on something. It like the scientific method, you know that thingy. Um. Yeah, I kind of did that with God and it works, so it's like, God is scientific facts. You could do it too, but, you know, you have to listen to what the Bible says, and you kind of have to pray the way he tells you to, and, you know, you, you kind of have to, you know, try your best not to do horrible things to people for that to work, because, I don't know, like, all your wishes and all you want, all your wants are based on only you, you know? Yeah, you know, this like is, the creator uh, of the universe, like having your back and really serving you. This was from uh, the fifth. I mean, she did like her and Rev did a bunch of videos between uh, the fifth and the eighth. So I didn't get to cover him because I was on vacation with the family. But like, he's the servant king, and he does serve those who love him. He does. So in gratefulness of him serving me, I serve others, and I serve him by giving out his glorious message that he's real he's here he sees everything so <laughs> sinning's not really a good idea when you know you got cameras all on you all the time you know what i mean um you kind of caught red-handed on on stuff when you have a relationship with god because he's always with you so it's best just to you know behave and learn that all these bad behaviors that some people think is really cool is just really self-destructive so why would you want to be self-destructive by doing their bad behavior when you can do good build people up and make them realize that life is full of joy as long as you take the evil out usually why i don't mess with anyone about anything because i know bad stuff happens when i let that when I let people in. What is so that? I'm just going to continue like to stay holy, aka separated, and do my own thing. It's better for me. It's better for others. Right, size. I agree. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep talking to God, my cats, my husband, and my sons. Watermelon, what is going on? Why are you meowing goes? Watermelon. It's watermelon knows you're lying. Now she's being extra quiet. She's probably talking to ghosts. God. This is an old house. Built by Mason, so oh my things God. around Shut the south are quite. Hmm. But anyway, love you, girls. Yeah, dude, love you, Michelle and Gucci. Let me see who else. Who? who oh, I see a Jane, a 
a Jill Gill, really selfish. It's probably a troll. Barmstrong, glittering glow sticks. That's cute. Mayhem, he's a shit. You know, it's just best to like keep your life personal and keep your internet life internet. Um, but anyway, I'm kind of bored. The husband's gone. The boyfriend. So I'm to myself. And I've been watching these videos where it's like people being NPCs and it's really freaking me out because what if all of life is just an illusion and we're living in the matrix and we're really just like hooked up to tubes and some shit like that. <laughs> Never know. Dude, there's not enough tubes <laughs> or big ass room to have you be just laying there in the tub. Especially how life is. It's been so weird lately. There's such everything is like going down at once. New York City had an earthquake today. And I'm like, how the hell did we not feel it? Like I'm 90 minutes away from New York City. <laughs> Anywhere else around us seems to Yeah, Randy. Shanny, Shanny, I have one reason why you did not feel an earthquake that was in Earth, uh, New York City. That's a huge bitch! The blubber, uh, no offense, again, not hating on YouTube, but this is for educational scientific purposes, so gather around for Professor Draven, and I'll explain to everybody the amount of matter and blubber around you made like a blubber seal so when that stuff was going off you were almost like a cone like it like like an amp like uh, like a speaker how a speaker has a cone and you were kind of shaking with the room so it's kind of like you know uh you wouldn't feel it because the aftershocks of your blubber protected you well I felt it but i didn't <laughs> feel it i did not feel the quake huh anyway Take care of yourself and others. Pizza Mariner. We're probably gonna like cuddle, cuddle Gavin or something. I don't know, maybe I'll just play like Corral Island. I suggest get it. If you like Stardew Valley, you'll love Corral Island. It's good. Alright, I'm 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 going, yo. Bye. Pizza Mariner. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Uh no fast shit. All right, guys, I will. I'll see you on the next time. Uh, yeah, we're gonna talk Cyrax, talk uh, more Shanny, whatever we got going on. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you, Replay Crew was up. Uh, thank you everyone for modding. Uh, always tired, Mousy. Uh, for the super chats, and uh, everyone got who came in and had something to say. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks, thanks for giving the channel a chance. Just that's what we do here. We have fun, we laugh, we chill out because, again, it's only the internet, life is short. Let's just have fun and chill out. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for everything. ILC is, uh, I don't know, Thursday, maybe Thursday, uh, evening. You know, because I'm still trying to figure out if what evenings or nights are better. You guys let me know in the comments which days or which time is easier. And let me know in the comments. Yeah, I heard some people said you want a part three to the Cyrax thing. Um, maybe I'll try to do that offline, see if I, I can do that better. So uh, I'll definitely give you that. But uh, thank you all, and I'll see you in the next time. Or on the next one. All right, have a good night, all. See you later. And uh, if you see that eclipse, don't stare directly at it. <laughs> It'll give you a wicked headache.